Christine and I rode in the show to go on a date with Benji. Um, about two months ago there was a girl that was supposed to go out with him. She really wanted to and he was very excited about it and it turned out she was under house arrest and she couldn't go out with him and I felt terrible. Um, so I just wanted to come down and show him that it's, uh, it can be really fun to go on a normal date with a normal girl and not go down this path of going to these risque clubs. I think that he's not getting any older and he needs to. Now have you, world. have you seen Benji before? <laughs> yeah, once I did in a, I think he was in a wrestling unitard. I think wrestling Jasmine St. Clair. And, wh and what did you think of his looks? They're all right. I, I don't care as long as his hair is clean. That's fine. He seems really sweet. So Ben, so you're about to meet this girl that supposedly likes you. What are you thinking? What's going on? Um, it's it's fun, you know. Yeah, I never know what to expect and everything. What are you hoping for? Uh, what would be okay? The ultimate fantasy would be that she, that that uh, that, that's like hard to believe. The ultimate thing would be that for some reason she really fucking just totally digs me. I want her to find me super funny, like the funniest guy in the world and super cute and she fantasizes about me. Like it, that's always been my hope, like out of the millions of people the show reaches, just percentage wise, there has to be one person in America that's absolutely attracted to me and that's what I'm hoping. What kind of stuff like attracts you to him? Is there, is there anything or is it just like you're, is it almost like a pity date? No, it's not a pity, it, it's not a pity date. I think that we're gonna have a fantastic time together. It seems really interesting. A lot of the guys my age do not know how to treat women or they're really boring. So um, I think that we're gonna have a great time. Now, um, well, give me some of Benji's positives. Tell me what you think, you know. He's, he seems really smart and I think that his, his unrequited love for, for that ex-intern, his friend, is just really sweet. He just seems like a really kind person. You hope she's the one. I hope so. And I mean, what are you what are you anticipating? Are you anticipating, you know, how do you think she's gonna look? How do you think she's gonna? My this is just my guess. My guess is, she, I think she'll be good looking, attractive. Um, but my 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 fear is she's. I know she wrote a letter saying that she dug me. My fear is either she's gonna have me confused with someone else. She's gonna think I was you, Ganji, or she's just gonna be like. There's gonna be like, she's gonna be like, oh, you know, well, like in the meantime, I've gotten married and uh, actually I, I find you disgusting now. That's like, uh, that's my fear. Are you nervous about meeting her? Uh, no, I'm more, more, more excited, more excited. A little nervous, I guess, yeah. And what do you think your date's gonna be like? Hopefully we'll grab a bite to eat, have a couple of drinks maybe. I like to dance, but I don't know if he does. So uh, I, I just wanna get to know him, really. Now, are you nervous that he might not like you, or you think, you know, hey, you know? Um, I guess a little bit, um, but I think that once we get to know each other, he will. And do you think there's a possibility you might get in there and, and you won't like him once you see him? No, no, I'm, I'm really excited for tonight. You've already seen enough of him that you know you like him? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so uh, I guess you'll get to meet your Prince Charming in a few minutes. <laughs> okay. All right, Christy. Thanks. Thanks. What do you anticipate? Tell me what you. Tell me. Tell me how you feeling. You getting a little nervous? No, I'm really not. I'm not. I'm what, not. What are you gonna do? I, you know what I do fear? I fear like that. That Howard will make me out to be this disgusting, horrible, like, uh, like just like mutant of a person, and that that he's he has good persuasive skills. So I think she he might be able to convince her that I'm absolutely like disgusting and everything. And you're Whereas you can that. see I'm not. And you're worried about that? A little bit, yeah. That's something I'm worried about. What about this woman who wants to date Benji? Let's bring her in too. You know, Benji. She's here. She yeah. has the nerve to show her face. It's amazing. Here's a big fat guy who works for me. He's very gross. And uh, in fact, is this another ploy just to get into the studio? Or I don't know. Let's find out. Really desire Benji. I wonder if she looks like Richard Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if she's a drunk. Oh, we're gonna ask her. <laughs> she she's gonna be one if she goes out with him. Uh, don't forget to watch our Saturday night TV show. Oh, here she. Oh, well, nice looking woman. Oh, she's cute. She's um, you know, she's not like a stripper type. And she doesn't look insane. You don't look insane. You don't look like a drunk. <laughs> Are you a drunk? No, I'm not. No, you're not. Are you no. on drugs of any kind? No drugs. Have you ever seen Benji before? I have, yes. You saw him on, on the TV, TV show? Once on TV. And you would date him? 
I would, yes. Wow. You must be very but, desperate. I mean, to call in, it's more than I would date him. It's like, oh, I'd like to date him. He he seems like an absolute sweetheart. Really? really? Yes. And what was Benji doing when you saw him? <laughs> was he kissing uh, what, 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 Al, Alice? Crazy Alice? Was he? <laughs> he was wrestling a porno star. Right, and you saw he was quite fat. Right. But that didn't turn you off. No. No. You like him. I do. I uh, I was listening two months ago, and there was a girl that wanted to go out with him. Uh huh. Um, and he was very excited about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it turned out she was under house arrest. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. There was a girl who was on, You're not under house arrest, are you? <laughs> and I felt terrible. Mm-hmm. I really want to show him that. Did you see the show where he kissed high pitch Eric? I didn't see You didn't tell good, but you don't. See, we can show you tape, turn you right off. Right. Yeah, I mean, we can really turn you off to it, but I don't want to do that either. Now, you seem like a nice, normal girl. What kind of yes. work do you do? I'm in graduate school. What kind of uh, graduate school? I'd rather not say. Smart. Is this some kind of a study? <laughs> hmm. It is, it is. Now, I heard also you were turned off a little bit because he has gotten to prostitutes for uh, hand manipulation. Oh. Right. I, I he hasn't really, had intercourse with them. Right. I would like to show him a good time and show with him With your that, hand? No, no. No. <laughs> to show him that he can go out with a normal girl on a normal date and kind of hopefully steer him away from this path of going So you're not looking for clubs. romance? Possibly, it, anything's possible. Mm-hmm. If, if he charms me, sure. Would not? you, if he charms you, would you let? Would you let him do you pretty soon, or would he have to wait a long time? A little while. A little while. Couple, couple, couple of dates. Couple of months. Couple of yeah. months. Oh, you think? Depends on well, the Well, you gotta figure though. Benji's been used to instant gratification with these mm-hmm. women whose houses he cleans. Yeah, but they don't. <laughs> they don't. They mean nothing to him. You know. Right. Are you a religious nut at all? Uh, what kind of religion are you? Well, I, I was Catholic. You were. <laughs> all right. So you're not uptight about sex. No. You enjoy it. Yes. You do. And you've had sex? Yes. You and how have. old would you be? I'm 23. Okay. 23? That's nice. That's the age I date. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a popular age around here. Right. You're very sexy. I, I really? Uh-oh. Oh. You already, you're yeah. stealing uh, I'm not. I'm Wait not, a second. Let me... Uh, I, I feel he's too really? old, but yes. Yeah, you feel who's too old? You, Benji or me? You. Me? I my age, yeah. So what? But Honey. you have a very strong face. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I have strong breath, too. <laughs> strong face. I have a strong face. What does that mean? Jackie, shut yeah, up. Nobody's ever said... You could use it as a hammer. Jackie, no one's looking at your face. You could use it as a hammer. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that. I'm going to take it as a compliment. All right. So, uh, why don't you meet the object of your affection? This is Benji, who works for me. I think he's up to 300 pounds. Well, no, he's dieting. You've never met him before, right? No. Do you think it's going to be tough to give him a hug? No. There he is. Oh, oh he's God. got a bottle you, of wine. Where do you steal oh. that jacket? He's got a... Uh, <laughs> wow. She's hugging him. I'll tell the audience at home that he is hugging her. He's wearing a suit. He came in with a bottle of wine. It's open. <laughs> it's open already. <laughs> I drank some this morning. Oh. You were nervous? Uh, yeah. Is that I know on you, your diet? You've been looking for romance, right? Yeah, well... Okay, this is what's been going on. I've always like I'm I'm like I've always wanted a lot of sex and everything. Yeah, don't but, uh, pour the wine right now. Okay. Don't 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 get distracted. Don't do shtick. All right, for me. yeah, not, just this. talk. All right, I thought she might want to, but uh, All right. so what, I what is your name again? Christine. 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 <laughs> Christine. Oh, sorry. Christine and and Benji, what are you a Jew? Yeah. Do you mind going out with the Jew? Well, I, oh, he's Jewish. Religious. That's fine. I just saw your eyes uh, kind of freak <laughs> out when I said Jew. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh my God! If we got a problem, no, no, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. Um, but like, so lately, I've had this huge crush on Marianne. I keep telling you about that right. and everything. I think that's very sweet, by the way. And right. uh, but actually, I was talking to Robin Rosinski, who works at E, and she was saying you should date other girls anyway to get the girl that doesn't like you interested in you. Well, you're not going to use her that way, are you? Well, use me? No, I mean, Benji. what's that? Are you attracted to this oh. woman? Don't waste your time. Oh with yeah, you yeah, now. yeah. You have nice breasts. Yeah. And, uh, don't do shtick. Try, I'm not doing, you, you, you finally got a girl oh, to yeah, be definitely. interested in you. Wait, do you think she has nice breasts? She has nice breasts. She's, I didn't even look. She's oh. wait. She's obviously framing her breasts. I mean, she has cleavage and everything. All right. No, I think yeah. I think she, I think you're attractive and everything. I mean, she's not as hot as Marianne and everything, but uh, she's cute. <laughs> so you're blowing her off. You're doing a shtick now, and she's you're insulting her. No, I'm not. I think she's really cool. Benji. She's not as hot as Marianne. What girl wants to hear that? No, no. Right. And Marianne not is not interested. Me. Here's a girl who's interested. In you. Are you excited about tonight? No, nah, I just I'm really excited about tonight. And you, you said, you, but you said you wait a couple months till you do stuff, or it depends on the number of dates. So, like, like if we have two n- dates in a month, what do you consider a date? Could an hour, and then he can come back yeah, an hour yeah, later. Yeah, can we do like sort of time lapse thing, <laughs> like a time lapse. An hour, two hours is a date. So this is sort of like the first date, 
Right. right. This okay. counts. Oh, you're already having your oh, first this date. Oh, right now. Right, right now. Yeah, is the first we'll be on date. You taking her out tonight? tonight? Uh, sure. I'll, I'll well, why don't you say something? Why don't you stop trying to be outrageous and say something nice to her and 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 let me see some romance. Go ahead. All right, Christine. It was very very sweet of you to uh to come all the way down here and everything. And I would like to 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 take you out on everything that you can afford and on a nice date. <laughs> what? Oh, you see, he's you know trying what? to be funny. You're, you're trying to be funny and you're not. Yep. You're stupid. All right. I'm not you're being dopey. You right. are being dopey. Yeah, you're trying to be you funny. You see, I, this is why you don't have a woman, Ben. And it's not even interesting to listen to because you're not being real. No. All right. You want I, know, be, I know you're okay, not being real. You you, be totally you're not interested in her? Then yeah, let her go. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely... You know what? Then stop saying things like everything E can afford. And right. Why don't, don't you talk to her? Don't waste Look her in the Friday night. Yeah, really. Okay. Well, Girl has a lot of things. She could be studying. You want to know what's seriously going through my mind? This is what's seriously going through my mind. What is seriously going through your mind? Like any guy that a girl says she's interested in, first of all... um. I want to know, like, just give me the main reason why you're attracted to me. You seemed really sweet and like a c- very kind person. A lot of the guys my age do not know how to treat women, and I thought I thought you would. You right. seem very interesting, very smart, right? Very knowledgeable. I think we'll have a great time together. Okay, cool. And then the, what else is going through my mind is, of course, if there's any chance of anything happening tonight. Of anything oh, come on. That's you can't all, be for that's real. That's, that's all you care about? No, you don't want some companion? Yeah, you're doing shtick. I'm going to throw I'm you not, out of here. I'm not doing shtick. I'm not even going to let you go like, out with this girl. Dude, you don't think that's going through my mind? Go back no. to the girl who's really going have through, anything you to do with what's really you. going through right. my mind. Go back that's, to the whores. What, what is it? You know what's weird about Benji? Like, we sit in the it's office, and it gets it's like 3, 4, 5 in the afternoon, and like, you know, the show's over, and we have conversations. And I know that Benji... Wants to have a relationship when he's not doing shtick and everything, and it's he's only, lonely. No, it's just, Why do you say you know I've been very lonely for a long time and now you know, it's I would really be, nice to have make a friend. What is it about wait, you? Let me ask you something. Date. You really need to get. You could go to the whore for your hand manipulation. You want to make a friend with a woman and maybe have a good friend here. But Howard, here's the yeah, point. Yeah. Oh, I lo- well, listen. What's the matter with you? The camera, you the camera is his drug. He may like her, right. but he can't. He has he to do this. Stupid. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think I you're funny. I will be absolutely honest. You seem very sweet and very nice. I know there's no chance I would ever we would ever get married, but oh, you you're very cute, and I'd love to go out with you and get to know you better. Why can't we get married? Because I, I know, I just know, I know absolutely you wouldn't be my type for that. Why? Okay. Because she's not Jewish? You're already, you're already... Si- you're you're like, you've already... Yeah, all right, so nice you're do me a favor. L- 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 Christine, look at me. Don't waste your time. No, she's I would a love loser. to have a great night with loser. her. Loser. I would loser. love to have a great night with her. She's got a loser written all over her. You hear what he's saying? In other words, he don't know. Marriage, he's already panicked. She's better Meeting Howard, some Howard, idiot wait, in a bar. Howard. Right. You know what? Go to a bar tonight an and randomly pick a man. It's right. got to be better than this. Be better. Is there someone there that out there that would uh, take me out in New York? Oh, I'm sure. I would love to take her out on a great day. Get out, Ben. No. You just blew it. You could leave. Go goodbye. Please. You're insulting her. You're She's really, really cute. She has beautiful eyes and beautiful red lips. Well, Good. And nice too bangs late. and everything. Yeah. All right. I'm not the cutest okay. girl no, I like. The truth is, I, just, I read in a book that you have to act aloof and, they, and act disinterested to get the girl interested. Well, no. guess so, what? You blew it. Well, that's who interested in you, me. Now I'm not interested. Get you interested. I won't allow her to go out with you. No, I, I fucking. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. yeah. no. Does that work for her? Now she's. I think she's absolutely gorgeous and actually amazing. No, you I, can't go out with her. No, I really. So want I'm to. taking it away. No, I try to act disinterested because I always act too interested, and the girl's not interested. Leave. You're done. Your, your segment is over. I just you want to take it. her out on a date. No, you insulted my, this I'll woman. I'll pay for it. Am I right that he insulted you? Yeah. He did, yeah. He did, yeah. He did. Right. After she said you were sensitive, what did you do? You came in and you acted like an idiot. She's a sweet girl. I've been talking to Howard. Him. How many mistakes did he make? Count them. Uh, yeah. no, you're trying, no, here's your problem. Likes. You're trying to be funny. Right. And you, first of all, you're bore. You're not even funny. You're not funny. You there's a charming funny, funny. No. funny, and then there's an right. obnoxious no. funny. You're boring. And you're the obnoxious. You know, you're boring everyone. You, never think I'm funny. Right. Never you got a girl you. here. She was interested in being your friend. You didn't have to talk about sex right away. Be your friend for a few minutes. Go out, have a nice dinner. No one's talking about marriage. She's not looking to marry you. What are you, some prize? You make $3 a day. Yeah. One minute he can't get a date. The next minute he's turning down proposed right. rulings. He's a girl got a nice right. body. Right. I mean, what do you want? All right. She's a human being. She's somebody's I, daughter. You're sitting listen, here. Obviously you're, you're, you're being I'm, rude. No, the reason I'm such a loser is because I always screw up like this. So please, just give me a chance to, to try to be sweet to her. No. That would be nice. No. You, you, you lost your chance. I'm not letting you go out with her under How any conditions. How are we supposed to go on with this? I'm sorry, Christine. I'm not allowing it. Thank Please, you. Christine. No, I'm taking I, you away from him so he'll appreciate you. Thank you. I know that's you're disappointed. What I was, listen, that's what I've, I've been going to dating camp. I'm going to take a call and give her to somebody worthy. All right. You blow A it. man who can take her out and show her a good time. I had so many fun and things planned. And then you planned. can sit I at home like, and watch you, her I, have a great day. Christine, I see you have some tears in your eyes. You're disappointed, uh, aren't I'm you? I'm very disappointed. Uh, you I, had really, built up. I really believed he was a sweet person, right. but I, you I were wrong. wrong. You were wrong. It's not, and that's that your judgment was off. And the one thing we can thank you for, Benji, is showing what an idiot yeah. you were right away. Right, you hurt her feelings. 
You hurt her feelings. Yeah, you didn't lead her on, Benji. Yeah. She, Howard, she's too good for Benji. You're way too Please. good. You're way too attractive and way too uh, healthy. Yep. Listen, <laughs> really. I, I made a big mistake. Yes, I, you I, made a mistake. I read in a book that Next time you might be lucky enough. You're no, not Benji. stupid, Benji. No, you're not that dumb. No. I su- All right, you can leave. Calculate. You're done. All right. You can go now. Please, can I take her out? No. No. <laughs> no. Please. The good news is Fred has a boner over there. <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll be right on top of you. She's, she's like got a nice curvy. You're all figure. done. You're all done. You blew it. Please, is there any way I can redeem it? No. No. You had your chance. All right. Attractive oh. woman comes in here and wants to date you and you act like a jerk. Get up. All right. That's it. Christine, I'm really sorry. I think you're beautiful and maybe one day we'll meet. Oh. All right. Really, really Very sad day. Take your all your anticipation, up. all your excitement, Loser. ruined. Loser. 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 Matter of Takes minutes. Yeah. That's well. why I was wondering, you know, why would anybody be interested in no Benji? Way. Not not the way he's behaving. And I won't allow this woman's dignity to be insulted. No if anyone's going to insult anyone's dignity, it's me. <laughs> I'm a professional. I'm really upset right now. Oh, I see it. I see it written all over your face. You were all excited about the date. I was. But you don't want to be with him, do you? I guess not. She expected no. this charming guy to walk in here and be nice. I did. That would have been well, so easy. Acting aloof. I mean... Well, you're attractive. What do you need him for? Plenty of other fish in the sea. I suppose. Been hard to meet guys? I'm just been, I've just i been very busy. You are a full-time student. Yes. Not a lot of time to meet guys. Right. I'm pretty shy, so... Wow. Boy, I'm sorry that... Uh, He's a retard. We exposed you to him. <laughs> Benji doesn't deserve you. I saw his whole attitude. I saw his whole demeanor. Yeah. I didn't like it. I hope he uh, realizes now Uh, what an opportunity. He was being a douchebag. I can't believe he blew it. He was being a douchebag. Boy. All right. All right. Some people you can't help. And I'm glad Benji missed out on you. Because Benji would have been horrible. Oh, Who wants to spend time with that? Matt, yeah. with the he e-cameras going? Mm-hmm. Oh, he would have been oh, yeah. a just wall stick. Out. Right? Yeah. yeah. It would have been a mess. Yeah. And thank you for uh, commenting on my strong face. <laughs> yeah. You're very sexy. I must really? Say. Thank you. I can, was Angie sitting here? Because I can, I can see that. Angie was thought. sitting right there, and she became enamored with me. Yes. Uh, that is true. Well, I'm glad that the you don't know, put all the women in that chair. Uh. <laughs> That's the chair? <laughs> That's right. Is it still warm from Angie? A little bit, yeah. Right. Thank you. The, the chair isn't wet, is it? Because oh, if it is, then it, that's a good sign. All right. There goes Christine, who was Hi, almost... Christine. Benji's... Look at that. Nice legs. Nice ass. Everything was in perfect working order. Christine, what happened in there? She was a total jerk. I can't believe it. Now, why, what, what do you think? I mean, were you into it? Were you still into it when he was in there? And at what point did you totally not... We're not interested anymore. I guess when he started talking about... Not as pretty as Marianne. I mean, what is that supposed to woo a girl? Definitely not. That, that's when it all went downhill. Do you think different of him now than you did before? I do. I think that that they're right. Just for the camera, he's a, he's a completely hypnotized. Did you think he'd act different? Did you think that you know you were, you were surprised by his actions? I was. I thought that he would jump at the chance and just be a totally sweet guy like I thought he would be. But I was wrong. Benji, right. what happened? I don't know, man. Dude, what did you do? You blew it. Oh, I see. Oh, that's, that's, that's what happens. Man. Were you not? Were you not attracted to her? What, I mean, what happened? I was. I was being Give totally honest. I, I would never want to marry her. I was being honest about that. But I think she's really cute. I'd love to have a good good time with her and everything. But why wouldn't you want to go out and hang out with her? I would love to. Why wouldn't you want to marry her? How do you know? Because I can tell. How could you tell? I can tell. Explain to me how you can tell. I can tell. That's not an answer. She's. She's not. She's not like, she's, I just can, you can, I can tell, you can tell what, how you feel about someone. Benji, uh, you're acting all weird. What's the matter? You were, in, you were totally huh? interested before, and now you're not. Huh? I don't know. Why are you acting all weird? What are you, how am I acting weird? What's your explanation? What happened? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. What is your qualification? I don't know. What a disappointment. That went well. Where is that Benji? Now I could yell at him. What a nut. Boy, oh, but what is the matter with you? He can't help Did you see what you did to that girl? You leveled her. You, you know what I'm... You want to be funny, no, and you're not. You know not. what I'm really pissed about? Yeah, go ahead. I think you're being a real dick. No, I'm not. Yes, you, you are. are no, you no, made no, her not cry. About this. Not about this. You We're made saying, her cry. That I feel horrible about. I didn't know about well, that. Well, you should. No. All right. Well, what, how what, is what, you're being, No, what really pisses me off when you say you don't think I'm funny. 
Oh. You weren't funny today. All right. You were not funny opinion. today. Overall, do you think I come up with funny ideas? Yes. No. no. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, fine. And, but at the proper time, this woman is... You can see she's straight. She's a straight arrow. I was being absolutely honest when I said... Yeah, I and you need, I she needed wanna... to hear that she's not attractive enough. I think she's you... really cute. No. I that's not how you treated her. Didn't need to hear it. I don't want to marry her. I want to have sex with her quick. Yeah. Look. Are you saying you weren't doing shtick when right. you came in? Oh, was, tell the truth. Yes. And did you yeah, think I'm it was funny? Smile. Did no, you think oh, you were being funny? Yes. With the wine I, cup. Yeah. And oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah. The talking talking about her breasts. The wine was very talking about funny. her breasts first. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait, don't, wait, wait. Don't put me on. Listen to me. I'm not putting you I'm on. I'm put on artist. I'm good breasts. When you, listen, I'm a con man. You can't con a con man. Get out of here. Get out. Get out now. Out. All right. Get out. Now you're pissing me off, and don't raise your tone to me. Get out of here. Yeah, you are right. the dick. You're a dick. I didn't make that girl cry. You did. Get out. You made her cry. Loser. That's amazing. You're making me he cry. Had, he I don't believe I hired you. Man. Get out. Get out of here. <laughs> you dick. What's the matter with you? All right, come back here now. All right. No, no, sit down over there. <laughs> are you out of your mind? You dick. <laughs> you had an opportunity there. So you blew stupid. it. You're right. You blew it. You're right. You're an expert on relationships. I am. <gasps> oh. I am. You well, are. Let me see you get in a relationship for 25 years. Up. You are. Is that good? I huh? was in a relationship 25 years. Don't throw that in my face. I'm not throwing it in your face. I said you're an expert. You're, you're, I am. You obviously know how to do it. I know care. people. Right. And I blew it. At least I'm in a relationship. Who with? My wife, 25 years I had a relationship. All right. At least I had that. All what right. do you have? Huh? Hookers and whores. He sweeps up. Sweeps up to get hand jobs. Oh, right. That's no, <laughs> no, you know, there's a lot of things with the whore. You clean a room so the whore will give you hand release. <laughs> you never talk about that I teach him how to read. That I'm that, that, oh, that, that, that volunteering. quiet. See, you never talk about that. Just be quiet. If they could read, they'd look for the exit sign. Yeah. Really? You never talk about how I volunteer at hospitals. Yeah. Yeah. To help yeah. poor okay, people. Okay, right. To do what? Right. Right. To do what? Angel of death. Yeah. You, you never talk about, you know, how, how I... How I was willing to donate blood to save people with leukemia and everything. Sure, sure. The good we, stuff. Well, All you talk about is the horse stuff. We will talk Back about. Nobody to took you up on it. Yeah. Back to shtick. All right. More no, shtick. No, listen. It just listen. Stop. What? What? You, listen. I was absolutely shtick, flattered. Man. She was a cute girl. You blew was, it. Well, you none of like that came across, Benji. Listen, uh, listen. You should walked in and said, "You know what? I'm yeah. very flattered. I'd love to take you out." Or you wow, could have said, "Listen, this is so exciting." You, you, you know, whatever. How Can't many times have you stood there waiting for some girl to show up? And listen, who's, my, who's not even been here. My absolute dream. Yes, I know I'm not that attractive. I think I have a great personality, though. No, and you don't. And, yes, I do. You, you don't. don't. If that was the personality we just saw, it isn't any good. My, my dream was this show does reach millions and millions of people, and that there has to be one person. All right, get out of here. Get out. Now you're doing shtick. All right, no, I'm go. not. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here Goodbye. He goes. Goodbye. All, right. All right, now you got to leave. Someday Take your headphones off. Do something real. Be right. real. All, All right. right, get out of here. Get out. Right. I got Dick Clark on the phone. I don't need Can you. Can I give out my phone over? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. <laughs> you're, you're, you're retarded. Oh. There's something wrong with you. He's the only guy that looks even sloppier in a tie. Right. I know. That suit makes him look worse. Am I right, Gary? He doesn't deserve that, oh, girl. You know what? What a wacko. Right. I mean, I, John and I really berated him in the office because I know he likes to do shtick, but I really also know he's looking for companionship, and she was really nice, and I was like, Benji, it was inappropriate, and I, I think he felt stupid about it. Right. Even though he, and on he's the air, still defending himself. No, he, right. he can't well, come off on the air right. like he was wrong. But I think he feels a little dumb about it. Are you feeling, are you feeling dumb now, Benji? Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, I mean, in certain ways, yeah. Are feeling dumb now? Yeah. From your I think he, well, what I should have said is, I'm not as lonely as he thinks, you know? I, I would love to get the right girlfriend. But for some girl coming down from Massachusetts, I'm not going to get in a long-term relationship with her. I, I I would love to go out with her, have a great time. She lives in New York. She's just going to school in Massachusetts. Oh, I thought she lived in Massachusetts. No. She lives in this New York City? Yeah. Oh, well, she, I, she goes to school in, in Massachusetts. Well, so 90% of the year she's in Massachusetts. But she's not going to be in school forever. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, it's, listen, I know she's not the kind of girl I would want to marry. All right? All right. Let me ask you a question. Well, ask me a question. Did every girl I date, I thought it was going to be the girl I was going to marry? Ask me. Ask me if I thought every girl I was going to date. Okay, you want to know? No, 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 no. Answer my question. No. Of course not. No. What's so bad about hanging out 
having a few drinks, talking to a girl, learning about her, maybe becoming I friends, maybe even friends. having sex with her, and, and then and then and then you know. I'm sure. I I absolutely am sure. Had I gone on a date with her, and had I been nice and friendly and sweet, I could have had sex with her. I, I, I'm absolutely sure. That's what you claim. I'm absolutely sure. Oh, I mean, that's what I claim. Of course, I'm claiming it. I mean, there's no there's no like proof of it and stuff, but I'm absolutely sure I could have had sex with her. Or sexual and a sexual encounter. So then sure why I could screw it up. Are you are you not are you horny? Yeah, I am. So then but, but would it be interested in long term dating her? I, I don't know. I don't know. Who's talking about this is like who's talking about long term? You go out for a few dates, you see how it goes. Would I have would I have spent my own money on it to ask her out? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Benji, you know we would be paying for it tonight. No, that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying the reality. Well, don't waste your time. It's I like, know. do you hear what he's saying now? It's like, uh, no, what do you mean? I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying, you would have to go. No, I'm saying if you guys weren't paying for it, you say, if, if you're saying, if you're saying you guys weren't paying for it, would this I have? This kills me though. Here's a guy who now was saying that he doesn't want to spend a little bit of money on a date that he might get sex for, but he'll go down to freaking uh, the club downtown and get and right. get get hand thing by freaking you know girls in public. I mean, right. It's like you, you, you're like disgusted. This is a yeah. I mean, it's like I just admit you screwed up. I said this before and I'm gonna say it again. It, it definitely, it, you know what? I hate stickiness, <laughs> believe it or not. So if you, if I sound sticky and everything, then I hate that and everything. So yes, I screwed up. Okay, you know yeah. All right, all right, Benji. All right. Well, good luck with your future relationship. Thanks. It's me, Benji, and welcome to Howard Stern On Demand. I think this is the best show you can select this month. It features me and my really sexy tone and fit body. It was right here in October 2004. We were right here in Central Park, and there was a rally going on called the Scream Against Violence. The idea was to protest violence. People would scream at their top of their lungs for 15 seconds. <laughs> After 15 seconds, everyone would go silent, and everyone did. Everyone except me. Also, you get to see me act like a dog, and I make a few friends. So, what are you doing down here today? Um, there was on the. Uh, I got an email, and uh, we're doing a Scream Against Violence. And we're gonna scream. Well, it really can mean anything you want. Um, we're gonna scream for 15 seconds, and then they're all gonna be silent. But I'm gonna keep screaming. They don't know that. Are we for the war in Iraq? 
Are we for the war in Iraq? The universality violence. Please get down. Are we for the bush killing machine? It's not about that. It's not about that, please. No! We are against killing! Come on! If you are against killing, join me! This is wrong! These people are for the war in Iraq! I'm not scared to speak out against the war. I don't care if you're part of CBS, the war machine. Why do we walk away? Right? Yeah. 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 Who's with me? Oh, who's with me? Let me hear it. Let's hear it if you're with me. You guys should all be ashamed of yourself for leaving. I guess when it comes down to it, when the going gets tough, you guys have to get going. I am against violence, and all of you should be too! I have to do an interview to keep it down. I, you know, why don't you do interviews about the people they're responsible, the deaths they're responsible for? Thanks a million. I'm gonna hold my breath till someone joins me. Where are you from? I'm holding my breath for you and join me. Where are you guys from? I'm with myself. I don't, I'm just following you. I just want to get around. I'm, I'm going to be on stage holding my breath until anyone hey, joins come on. me. I'm trying to do an interview, man. Come on. I'm holding my breath till you agree to join me. Okay. Are you going to let me do this or no? Go ahead. So, uh, I'm still holding it. Hey, I've asked you several times nicely to shut up so I can do these interviews. Are you going to stop? They were making fun of me. Against violence? Yeah, you're, you're against people hurting people. Like, you know, when people come up and like club people, you're against that, right? Can you, we're doing a protest against violence. It just, I'm gonna count to 15, then you just scream with me against violence, okay? Okay. Actually, I'll give you a count of 10, okay? You ready? And we're just going, ah, really, okay? 10? Okay, 15. One, two, three, four, five, count with me, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ready? Fourteen, fifteen. Ah! You know, there's, there's 25 of us. 
There's 25 of us over here. Come say it to all our faces. Sing something nice. Okay. Sing something inspirational. Okay, no, 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 she's got good enough. Not screaming. Okay, you're right. You screaming is screaming. a violent act. What's in your itself? favorite song? I guess you wait. You're walk away. You don't care about peace. Why don't you free your animal? Why don't you free your dog? violence USA AV and what we did was uh, for 15 seconds exactly at 7 p.m. we screamed and then everyone stopped but me and I kept screaming and uh, I spoke out against violence uh, I sniffed some dog ass and I, uh, I almost made out with this uh, deaf black guy but basically we were just making a stand against violence I love this rally but I don't think anyone there loved me it was after this event that Doug Goodstein coined the term shtick coma about me. I hope you enjoyed seeing the footage raw and completely uncensored. Now excuse me, I gotta go home and masturbate. Ah! 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 
So Benji, you remember, in fact, I saw it on the show the other night. It was funny as hell. Yeah, it's a funny episode. When Benji went out and screamed, they had this event in Central Park a bunch of hippies put together where, like, if you scream if you're against violence for 15 seconds, and then after the 15 seconds, Benji just kept screaming. And we had said to Benji, look, and after you stop screaming, then just leave and leave everyone alone. But, of course, he couldn't do that. So he says to me in a meeting, I want to go out and do something else. And I said, no. I said, because when Doug gives you the sign to stop, you don't stop. I swear to you, Howard, if you let me go out. I need a signal. is what. Yeah, all I need is a signal and I'll stop. <laughs> so Doug Goodstein, the producer for me, says, I'm not going out with Benji anymore. I don't want to. It's too embarrassing. And it, it always goes wrong. It goes horribly wrong. And I said, look, dangerous. I said, Benji, are you being straight with me? Because, by the way, this is the last time Benji's going out. This is it. Really? Yeah. Because he doesn't listen to directions. See, I think but, Doug is a great straight man. This is like Abbott and Costello. I agree. <laughs> I, I, don't I don't care. I don't care. In other words, he's got to... Listen, he almost got killed. Yeah, that's bad. But the best part... I got to say, the best part of this <laughs> whole thing that, that. is I get, up at, I get up at five in the morning and I read Doug's emails that are filled with such heartache. <laughs> They're so funny to read. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I mean, it's uh, unbelievable. Where's where that email? I got to read that. What? I, what's I, your idea? I'm going to put an uh, electric uh, shocker on his neck next time. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, so I'll yeah, just hit a button and collars? I'll just electrocute him. Yeah, induce a heart like attack. Like a taser, like a, a, a remote taser. <laughs> that just takes him down. Yeah. All right, so here was Benji. <laughs> Benji and Doug said, hey, we're going to go down. What event was this? Okay, it's a poetry event. Okay. The, the organizer of the event put together a nice event. <laughs> you get up on stage for 30 seconds. You do your poetry. You have 30 seconds. Everyone uh -huh. gets the it's same amount really of time. Poetry. It's actors doing a monologue. It just happens. Whatever to be you want yeah. for 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah, to call it an event is really an insult to events. But there were a lot of people <laughs> there. But there were a lot of people there, and people get into congregating yeah, and, and, and doing this stuff. Yeah, these are people who gave their lives to perform, and they get a chance to perform. So Benji says, I'm going to get up on stage. And I'm gonna, just going to do 30 seconds. I'm, I'm going to dedicate my poem to my my sister who died. Uh -huh. and, uh, and then I'm going to just do this nonsense poem. After they cut me off, because what they do is they turn the lights down. 30 seconds, yeah. you're, right. you're gone. It's called the Manhattan Monologue Slam. You have 30 seconds. They put the lights on. You have 30 seconds. At 30 second point, they shut the lights so off. So after the lights go off, he grabs a megaphone. He's going to put a blue light on himself with, from a little pencil <laughs> flashlight. He has his own light. Yeah, and he's going to and he's going to continue until they tell him to get off. Uh -huh. You know, like until someone comes out and tells him. Right. And then he'll leave. But of course that doesn't happen. Okay. <laughs> so first Benji goes up on stage, and his character is, is he gave himself the name Detlev, which I don't of even course, know what that means. that's his crazy name. Right. So to give you an idea, first he's called up on stage after about five other people and dedicates the performance to his sister that he killed. Oh. Yeah. So, and there were a lot of blacks in the audience, too, okay. which is even more frightening. And, and I think the, guy, the bouncer was black, too, right? No, it was a big white guy. Was that a white guy? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't tell. It Those was are my favorite bouncers. Interesting crowd. There was a lot of pretty girls in the audience, too. Your poetry gets all the broad. Girls go to these things. Dum-dums. Yeah. All right, so Benji <laughs> gets up next. <laughs> all right. And then he does his impromptu thing. First announces to the audience that he killed his sister. All right. All right. Um, just before I begin my 30 seconds, if you guys will give me the chance. This is part of your 30 seconds, my friend. Um, all right. And, the guy, and, the, and that he's guy. He's already told. Yeah, yeah, part of your 30 yeah. seconds, my friend. What an annoying poet that guy sounds like. <laughs> he's the organizer. My friend. Yeah, he's the guy who starts hovering over Benji when he finish, when he doesn't finish. <laughs> when I was 12 years old, my sister died in a car. She got asphyxi asphyxiated, and it was my fault. And um, I dedicate my courage to perform to her. Asphyxiate. Yeah, uh, uh, right. Asphyxiate. Right. All right, but he was nervous. All right. So already 15 seconds are up. Frozen fish stick dinner. Hunger in my belly. Two frozen fish sticks. 38 frozen peas. 16 tater tots. And a raspberry tart. All right, 30 seconds, the music comes up, and now some dude walks out on stage because he isn't stopping, and, and Benji's flailing around trying to find his megaphone and his light. I took the frozen dinner to my stove, and I decided to cook it because I knew I must eat the frozen fish stick. This 
goes on now forever. <laughs> There's a guy on stage who's the organizer. He's like trying to, you know, be funny about it and be nice about it. Yeah. He's, you know, going through Benji's bag that's with him. He's, you know, he's just he's like, come on, get off right, the stage. Right. Benji won't leave. But the bouncer's now on his way up. They're calling him up. Through this place, the would be put, and I would be my All right, here's Greg for me. He wants to chime in. Yeah, Greg. Hey, how are going on? Hey, ma'am. Yeah, it was absolutely insane. The um, bouncers up there, the guys coming after me, trying to tell me to turn the light off because as soon as the light comes off... Uh, yeah, because the, the E-crew is there photographing the whole event. And so they have a light, Yeah, we too. have a camera light. They have a light, so too. They're like, so they're now trying to block the camera light, and everything is going nuts. In fact, at one point, a guy took a flashlight, tried to shine it into the lens because that could ruin the lens of the camera. Like, right. it's all bedlam up there. Yeah, it's bedlam. <laughs> I mean, bedlam. It was good even though I'm on a low-carb diet. Now he's yelling, get off the stage. Right. But at what point, did you try to give him a signal at any point during Not this? at this point. This point, it was still okay. Yeah, at this okay. point, this is right. okay, fine. This was okay. Yeah. Atkins diet, and which is why I do a frozen fish dinner. I did not have a microwave. So I had to drink a drink Turn gas stove. Turn Two the camera light off. Two frozen fish. 38 frozen peas. Did that poem have any point? That was just about the fish. Yeah. <laughs> you must eat the peas! So the crowd's going nuts, and I think... I, I think they're yelling because the bouncer's just making his way up. So the bouncer comes up, to, and this, right. guy, this guy's a moose, and he's real strong, and, and God bless him, he picks Benji up. And, you he know, picks him up! And at this point, Doug's saying, okay, enough. But now it's out of control. Right, when the bouncer came to the stage, that's when the signal went up. The signal was this, my hand in the air, just, you know, right. like rock on type of uh, hand signal. And he saw me, because I saw Benji see me. But uh, he couldn't didn't. stop the shtick coma. Yeah, as Doug says, Benji was in the shtick coma. Kicked in, and he ignored. And he ignored your signal. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Benji, we had an agreement. So, Howard, if I could explain, it's probably about four, thirty or forty feet to the door to get to the bar. Another twenty feet to the door to go out front. So that's where you'll be hearing Benji dragged about sixty feet. So now Benji keeps talking while he's talking, and, and then then he just throws Benji right into the chair, <laughs> like these, it's a bunch of empty chairs. <laughs> Sir, on oh, map. Like a mental patient. He's punching me! You must eat the peas! He's on the ground now, sprawled out, and he's still doing his monologue. And then he starts calling for the cops, and, and then Bouncer even gets scared and moves away because he thinks the cops are there. He said the word cops. The guy was yeah, as soon as he said cops, the bouncer ran out. Oh, really? I bet! You're done. I'm not that. I got your back. Get the fuck out. There's a fucking back. Get the trophy. Get that man the trophy. Get the trophy. Get up. Doug's standing in the corner giving him the cutoff, son. Yeah, he's still... Now, Robin, he's a good 50 feet away from the stage. He's in another room, uh -huh. and he's still finishing this. Well, call me he's crazy. He's almost the, the door yeah. at this point. I'm calling me crazy, but I want to hear the end of the poem. <laughs> but How then, Benji, but then Benji goes out on this... Then they throw him out on the street. Yeah. Benji meets a homeless guy, a big black homeless guy. Yeah. He befriends him. He's dancing with him. He's doing all this. Then these two black chicks come up, and they think the homeless guy is being used by Benji in a bit. And they start screaming at Benji because he's using the homeless, the homeless guy. But the next clip you're going to hear is the organizer. You have the CD case in front of you, Howard. I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to go to the. I want to go to okay. the. Because the organizer starts yelling at Benji about how selfish he was for and what he threatening did. Threatening him. Yeah, that's pretty. pretty oh, good what too. could he threaten him with? You know, never to be able to be tell never a poem to again. Never to be able to perform again. <laughs> if you ever come to my show again, I'm gonna fuck you up. Excuse that was me? bullshit. That was that bullshit. Was, that was bullshit? Yeah. That you was went bullshit. Too long. You should have gone on for three minutes, not eight minutes. That was selfish. That was selfish. That was selfish. This is supposed to be about expression. But it was selfish. You knew the rules. Why have you taken other people's time? I've seen you guys let other people go over before. That long? And then when you're asked to go, you stayed on? That was as selfish. As soon I realized you, you were being selfish. selfish. Went on. No, you soon. As no, I you realized. didn't. The lights were turned out. The music was on. You were being selfish. <laughs> <laughs> so then Benji, but these two black chicks were really strong, tough black women. Uh huh. And they think Benji's using the black homeless guy. And boy, he, and he starts arguing with them. Aren't you the least bit afraid of black chicks? 
Yeah. I mean, really, you don't act? But he's in a shtick coma. Stop using the black flop. Stop using the I will use, I will use black flop. No, stop. Stop. no stop. you stop. stop. Take him and you get stop. something to eat. No, what did you do? You stop. It's like right in her face. Stop. You stop. You stop. Take him and get stop. Are you hungry? No, hungry? no, it's James okay, Monroe. No, go tell you James. Right, no. James Monroe, I guess, is the guy he's hanging out. Right. Yeah, uh-huh. he's also holding his hand. <laughs> he's holding hand. He, they joined forces. I don't he's even know if James Monroe's his real name. I don't even know if he's home. I don't know what he, he's just some black guy standing there. He's a homeless guy. Very nice guy, though. Very I mean, nice I don't know. I mean, I we assumed he was. And he had no problem with being, <laughs> with Benji. He knew the camera. He knew it was about but the TV. black chicks were yelling. They had a at problem Benji. with it. By the way, one of those black chicks was hot. Yeah, yeah there were a lot of there were a lot of pretty girls there. James Monroe, you will not take my James. James Monroe! He's my James Monroe! Oh, yeah, Massa! He's your James Monroe! He's your James Monroe! <laughs> she started dancing, like, you know, like doing a minstrel show, mocking Benji. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was great. It was I think great. James Monroe is our fourth president. <laughs> so then Doug, because he feels bad for Benji, starts explaining to these girls that, you know, he, he sticks up for Benji. Benji starts attacking Doug. What happened, what, what happened was Doug felt so bad, Doug gave the guy a tw- $20 bill, which is, so now everyone's saying that $20 isn't enough for exploiting this that guy. That wasn't enough. And that's when Benji jumps in. <laughs> this is what money. he's doing. Give him, right. give him more money. Shut up. Shut up. Seriously. Okay. I got 10 bucks more. Ten There's more. for you. 10 more for James Monroe. Right. Right. Who's got more money for James Monroe? Well, you just told me to give him 100 Who's got more money for James Monroe? I don't have it. Who's got more money for James Monroe? Here's another 10 bucks. It's another 10 for James Monroe. I'll save it. We're up to 40. No, I have 50 People bucks for James up. Monroe. I don't want to fist fight you or any of that shit. I wouldn't back down. <laughs> but it's not a- it's a, And, it's, and then, then Doug just goes over and smacks Benji. He goes, enough. <laughs> enough. I've got a situation. Uh, yeah, so hmm. they thought we staged this whole thing. They turn it on me. And I'm like, guys, I'm pretty much just documenting what's going on here. Well, whatever. I think we had enough Benji yeah, appearances. Benji, you can't go out anymore. I think we could do it again. I think I have a <laughs> I'm just going to put him on a, like a, a, like a, um, a, fishing, li- a fishing line. Hey, it was at the uh, Bowery Poetry Club, and I think they do it every week. Yeah, by the way, they do. It's, it's Give cool, them a pl- Actually, they were pretty nice people. Yeah, it's going to be a lot better next week without you. How you doing? I'm Galinsky. And I'm Philip Galinsky. He's my brother. I'm his brother. And we produce the Manhattan Monologue Slam, which is the killerest show in New York City for theater and theater lovers. So it's like American Idol meeting Masterpiece Theater. And it's a packed house. It's fun. Some people go up there and think that they what, what they have is their Merlot muscles. They have a little wine, so we call them Manhattan Monologue Merlot muscles. Yes, and they come up and they Make try fools out of themselves. But you know what? It's a 30-second window, so yeah. it's fun if somebody does that. Tell me how you enforce the 30 seconds. Okay. This oh, is, the enforcement the, of the 30 seconds. Yes, the go enforcement ahead. of the 30 seconds is fairly, fairly simple. It's not like the gong show in any way. The lights fade up, you do your moment, you take your moment, and then they slowly fade down to 30 seconds. So you have to feel the time when you have to shut up. Have you seen it all? Uh, not yet. That's no, not why we yet. keep doing no. it. Yeah, we we, we want to see all. This is a one-name performer, and the penmanship looks like a serial killer, so I'm going to do my best <laughs> to try and read it. <laughs> Delev? Dr. Lev? What is it? Delev. Delev. Ladies and gentlemen, Delev! <laughs> Um, just before I begin my 30 seconds, if you guys will give me the chance. This is part of your 30 seconds, my friend. Um, when I was 12 years old, my sister died in a car. She got asphyxiated, and it was my fault. And um, I dedicate my courage to perform to her. Frozen fish stick dinner. Hunger in my belly. Two frozen fish sticks. 38 frozen peas. 16 tater tots. And a raspberry tart. I took the frozen dinner.
you turn that light off? Yes. You beat him up. Turn the, the light off. Raspberry tart. <laughs> it was good even though I'm on a low carb diet. I do Atkins diet, and which is why I do a frozen fish dinner. your mommy and your daddy and live in your fucking little New York dream where they pay for everything you own. No, 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 no. You're taking it out on, on the wrong person. That's not how I look at it. My parents do it. You guys broke my megaphone. I didn't break anything. Huh? I was in the new. But I thought what you did was pretty cool. Cigarette? Yeah. Um, Can I take an, have another one, please? You can't give me another one. Fuck off, man. Some people, they try so hard to be what they want to be. That was a great man. You want to go back in. You're asking the wrong guy anyway. Get your fucking camera out of my face. Touch fucking camera. Do not touch that. It's not your property, bro. You broke my megaphone. You should have thought about that first. I got a good feeling. So if you, you want to stand out here, you got a camera, you can do a whole other fucking show, right? I'm not doing a show. You broke That's my exactly megaphone. exactly what you're doing. I hope you pay for it. You can stand here as long as you want. That's fine. We will. We will. We will. We will. We shall overcome. They don't allow blacks in there. Get black people out of there. We shall overcome. If you ever come to my show, I'm the fucking fucking. 
to see this bullshit. That was, that was, a, that was bullshit? Yeah. That you was went bullshit? on too long. You should have gone on for three minutes, not eight minutes. That was selfish. That was selfish. So selfish is supposed to be about expression. But it was selfish. You knew the rules. Why were you taking other people's time? I've seen you guys let other people go over before. That long? And then when you're asked to go, you stayed on? That was as selfish. As soon I realized you, you were being selfish. Went on. No, you soon. No, you did it. The lights were turned out. The music was on. You were being selfish. You didn't care about anybody else. You cared about yourself. That's what you did. We That's what you did. You were selfish. Talk to him. No, I'm talking to you. He no, wasn't talking there. to him. You were there. He saw everything and again, that happened. you're being selfish. You're putting it on someone else. No, I'm not. Take he responsibility for what you did. This you was... were selfish. No, I was. I did it for him. So tell me what you thought of the show, especially that guy, Detlob. Well, the show was really good, but uh, it was kind of crazy when he freaked out. What did you think of him? Yeah. What's going on? Nothing. This you're a star. Look at you. You're a star. You're a star. It's all about you and you're a star now. Maybe you'll stop saying racist remarks. You're a star. Maybe you'll stop saying racist remarks to people. Star is a racist remark? You know what you said before when you came up to us. I said you were selfish. That's what I said. Oh, is that what yeah. you were? Yeah. Is that what you said, is that what you said James Monroe? Yeah. 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 I said you were selfish. And then you looked you to him because you didn't take responsibility for yourself. That's all we asked you to do. Take responsibility for your actions. You can you're treat, you're you turning can, to him and you turn you to yourself. Treat, you can treat me like this. You can treat all these people like this. Selfish. But you don't do that to James Monroe. I haven't talked to this gentleman. I'm talking to you. you don't it's treat. about you, my friend. You were selfish and now you're putting it on somebody else. And now you're a star. You it's don't, beautiful. You That's don't, what the Manhattan Monologue Slam is about. You don't. Making people who show up feel good about themselves, get their shit off, and that's Wizard what it's about. Me, and you said you were going to fuck me up if I ever came to your event again? When did I say oh, that? Oh, you didn't say that? When did I say that? If you ever come to my show again, I'm going to fuck you up, fuck you up, fuck you up, fuck you up. I just said you were selfish. You didn't selfish. come up and say if I ever come up to your thing again, you're gonna fuck me up and fuck James Monroe. I don't think I. Oh, and, and I, oh really? You can't so. start that. You want? Like I swear on oh my life. But you know what? It's not about getting serious. It's about oh, you. Didn't you. Say that, dude. It's about you. Stop using the black prop. 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 Stop using the black No, you stop. Take him and get something to eat. No, did you? You stop. You stop. You stop. You stop. Are you, you hungry? Stop. You no, hungry? No, no, it's James okay, Monroe. You no, don't tell you take James no, Monroe from me. You will not take my James, James Monroe. Monroe. He's my James Monroe. Oh, yeah, Matt does. He's your James Monroe. He's your James Monroe. He's your James Monroe. He's your James Monroe. We have people who live upstairs. You're the it's star. You create an issue. I don't the care. Manhattan Monologue Slam this made you a star tonight. This, is, this ain't about that me and you. Is the Manhattan Monologue Slam made this gentleman a star tonight? That's what the show is about. What do you think of that guy? Know this guy right here. Dead love. Oh, he's 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 desperate. He's no, he's no, he's not an actor. He's an act outer. Act out. He was acting out. Is there any talent? There? No talent. No, no talent. He just wanted a moment of his. He wanted his. He wanted his five minutes. He wanted his thirty seconds, and he got his thirty seconds. Yeah. So he got a stage, and he got thirty seconds, and he went over and over, and he created this whole spectacle to create attention because he doesn't get attention, so he's desperate for attention and knowledge. And he got it. He got what he wanted. You know. Now he's in the hall, so he grabs a black man. You know, who's homeless and. You know, to try you, and, you know. James Monroe and I aren't scared of you. We just don't want to get arrested. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. You are a star. Um, meet us in a boxing gym. We'll fight you. I just want to ask a favor. Do you mind if uh, you could uh, kind of persuade him to interview him about six feet that way? Because he's got he's planned to stay here all night to control. Oh, we'll get rid of I think he's got nothing better. Yeah, he's good. A boxing match happening November 5th if you want to get Oh, you can admit now that you came up for real? In no, I'm not. Because I didn't say that. Oh, uh, really? But I did make you a star tonight because you came to my show you and you, you shined brightly. But seriously, November 5th, there's a boxing match. I'm on one card. Maybe you want to. Seriously. We'll take you on right now. For real. No, no. <laughs> right now. Ring, on the street. Legit. On the street, the like, on the street like men. No. On the street. Go, go get yourself. I'm not, go get yourself. I don't have. Back. I got to go find a black man to hold go, his go, hand go like you to fight. No, that's not what I do. I'll Come be on. Your, I'll, I'll be your second. Come on. I'm serious. You guys want to fight? No. 
You're a star. We made you a star tonight, and I'm telling you, there's a legit match on November 5th. If you want to do you're it, you're embarrassed. There. You came up and said you were a star. I'm not yeah. embarrassed about yes, anything. You know what? Guess what? You're the star. It's on tape. You're the star. It's on tape. What you said. Good. I'm glad it is. Yeah. Because you're so the star. So, uh, so I can play that tape. Man. The Manhattan Monologue Slam makes stars, and this is one of them. Can you tell him earlier when you came out here you're gonna mess him up? If you ever come to my show, I will fuck you up. I tried to diffuse the, the uh, fight potential right. by lying and saying, no, I didn't say that. Of course I said that. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Went to the river, what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A sweet manger, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to church. Oh, oh, now that you have the Why trophies. Why don't you sing Old Man River? Why don't you get him to sing Old Man River? Now that you have the trophies, you can come, River, you can come, baby. you can come, you can come and start, start trouble. Get him to sing Old oh, Man River. Oh, oh, why don't you? Yeah. Why don't you do it? You why don't you take advantage crap. of him? I know you would love to hear me sing that for crap. I know you would I'm no cracker. Like I am not a cracker. I'm a person. I am a person. Um, so you're all good? You want to shake hands? You want to tell me sorry? Okay. Dead love. Yeah. All right. The three, threesome handshake. Sounds good. Okay. Maybe come back tomorrow. Will you sign a release to be on TV? Be on TV. Yeah, I'll give you a couple bucks. Hey, well, I think I can use 20. I'll sign one. 20? Yes, I'm going to uh, get my wife done. Okay. I'll marry you. I'll give you 20. I'll do that. I'll sign it. I'll give you 20 bucks. I'll give you a away. Come to that angle that you have. God bless you, baby. All right. Sign it. You'll be signed. So, Benji. How did tonight go? What do you think? It was okay. I mean, they, this is all supposed to be about poetry and everything. It got a little rough for po for poetry slam. Um, but James Monroe was here to back me up. And if any, anything went wrong, James Monroe would have kicked everyone's asses here. So well, I, ain't that good I wasn't scared. Like That's why I wasn't San scared. Francisco. I traveled from Seattle to San Francisco, Louisiana, and I boxed for lightweight. That's why I wasn't scared. If you know, so I, I wasn't scared. He has still showed a kind of come. We're holding hands because James Monroe saw what these people were doing to me, and he's not gonna let anything happen to me. Are you, James? Yeah, no, no. Nothing like happen. You know, I'm more for friends. Because friends don't let friends get hurt. Friends, because James of Shotokan and Kung Fu. How much money they put in your hand, baby? How much money? Twenty dollars. Okay, give him twenty dollars for this. Twenty dollars. Okay. How much money? Did, how much money did they give you? To, 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 how much money did they give you? No, that was good. Get some more money. I appreciate what you told me. Get some more money. Get some more money. Okay, how much? Because they usually get locked up. You know what I'm saying? You could have got locked up. Give her money. Give her money. I take people. Give some more money, baby. Give her money. Give some more money, sweetie. Give her your money. I need to give her some more. We're good. We're good. How much do you want? How much do you want? That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. You know that's not right. Give him some more money. James, give her your money. That'll do it. 20 bucks, man. You fucking. Come on, man. That guy went through hell for you. That man's been through hell for you. You fucking gave him 20 bucks. You know what? No, he said good. You know what? Fuck you for doing that. Not to me or anybody here, but that guy. Come on. That fucking guy was him was embarrassed. And that asshole, that plump little white fucker embarrassed that fucking guy who's been through hell in his life. And you guys gave him 20 bucks? Where is the guy? I'll give him 100 bucks in front of you and put that on tape. Where is he? Where is he? No, put the camera on. Dog. Give him money. <laughs> you fuck with what? I'm insane? Are you kidding? Because if you're not, get your finger out of my No, I'm not insane. You fucking bum rush my show, you use some fucking black homeless guy for your fucking show, and then you give him 20 bucks. And I'm yeah. insane? Yeah. Don't touch me. No. Dude, the door open. No. And if I calls. touch you, what are you gonna do about it? No, I'll fucking kill you if you touch me. No, because that's your game, dipwad. Yeah. You come here and bum rush and make the black man look like an what asshole, and you gave him twenty bucks. You, make him look like you did for twenty bucks. I didn't do anything. No, you didn't. You just had everybody sign leases, like a diligent little bitch that you are. Yeah, that's right. Right? That's right. Right? Yeah. We got everything. Where's the money? 
failed Get the money. Give him the money. We have. Yeah, give him the money. You said you give him more money. It's right down there. Why don't you give him more money? Give him more money. I'm gonna give him more. Shut up. Shut up. No, 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 no
with Howard TV, the Christmas special. We're gonna go around New York and see what people want for Christmas. I'm gonna try to get my cock grabbed also. What's your name, little boy? Manny. Manny? How you doing, Sam? All right, what do you want for Christmas, Manny? Uh, anything? <laughs> I've been really good. What's the, what's the goodest thing you did this year? Um, I jerked off four times one day. How's that? What's good about that's evil? That's like that'll get you in hell. And it made me feel good, Santa. Um, all right. Let me just tell you what I want. All right. Love to have a threesome with uh, Jessica Alba and Giselle Bunchen. You think you can handle that for me? Yes, I can. Thank Santa, you, Santa. Santa will get the. Oh, thank you. You're the best. Thank you, Manny. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's your name, young lady? Well, my name is Mildred Luckert. And and uh, and how old are you this year? You just told me before. I'm 87. 87. 87. A young, sexy 87. That's right. You want to give Santa a kiss? No, sure. No, I mean like a real kiss. Okay. No, 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 a real. Re well, that's real enough for me. I uh, have a tooth on. I don't care. I'll bite you. It's okay. Come on, give Santa a real kiss. That's a good one. Got a real kiss. Open mouth. A French no, kiss. No, no, no. Come on, I a French. I don't do that one. Huh? I don't do that one. Huh? I don't do that uh, one. Santa will give you anything you want if you give him a French kiss. Well, that's too bad. I can't make it. Come on. I, I like your blue eyes, Santa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They're very pretty. Thank you. Well, Merry Christmas. Same to you. How are you? How you doing? I'm all right. Merry Christmas. What's your name, little boy? My name is Charlie Chan. Charlie what? Charlie Chan. Chan. Charlie Chan. And what does Christmas mean to you, Charlie? That I am not smoking anymore. And Charlie, what would you like Santa to give you for Christmas? I'd like him to tell everybody to quit smoking. When you were growing up, what, what did, did they do fisting at all? No. Have you ever fisted a girl, Charlie? I've fisted a lot of women. You have fisted women? No, not that way. Oh, but you, would you like to fist a woman for Christmas? No, I don't. Uh, I don't do that with women. I make love to them though. What do you want for Christmas? Oh. Uh, what would you think I want for Christmas? To... No, no way! Don't whisper it, come here. Don't whisper it. Come I on. think I'm off right. this show right now. Merry Christmas. 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 And uh, you said you've never seen a TV before. You're new in America? Uh, no, we're not new in America, but we've never been on TV before. We've seen TV a lot, but we have never been on TV before. <laughs> We're doing like a little special for Christmas, and what I want to do is I'm going to grab you guys' breasts, okay, under your shirts, if that's cool, okay? Can I say that again? I'm going to grab your tits like, for the special. You think? Is that cool? Not if you want to live. <laughs> Can I grab yours? Well, how do you mean grab? Like, just, I'm going to put my hand down your shirt and, and, and grab, like, your tit. I'm up with that. All right. Are you too, or you want to think about it? I, I see how she goes, and then... Yeah, let's see how it goes. All right. People have infants. I don't. No, no. You want to grab my crotch? You want to rope? Huh? No, and then we're good. We're good with this. Okay. Santa has a little present for you. Thank you very much. Hey, can you grab your crotch? Is it okay? Ah. Is it okay? No, oh, no. No, no, no. Ah, you doing, man? Come on, get out of the way. Well, 
We walked around New York. I, I made out with an old lady. I felt a, 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 a woman's breast, a tit. I, I jerked off at a bunch of jerk off booze. So happy holidays. Happy holidays. While we were away, Benji did some crazy thing. He went to a Benji went to a <laughs> a pillow fight. It was a an organized pillow fight. Who put it on, Benji? Well, uh, one of our new guys from In Demand called me, Lee Garowitz. Yeah. And uh, it's one of those things that I just I don't know. It's one of those street theater things that they just do. It's a it's a pillow fight where in Times Square. It was in Union Square, Union which is Square. down in the village. Yeah. And uh, he called me and he said, Lee, Lee called me and said, there's a pillow fight going on and I want you to go and just uh, be stupid. Be like you usually are. <laughs> Who sponsored it? Be yourself. <laughs> I, I, it's called something like New Free Space, New Mind Space. I, I don't remember. It's no. not, they, I don't know that they made any money off of it. I don't know. How many people show up for a pillow fight? It was, I, I thought it was just going to be a few people and I was worried. I was like, no one's going to show up, but it was hundreds of people. There were, and it was like there was a lot of guys there that really wanted to hurt people. It seemed wow. like I mean they were hitting you really hard. You can get like hurt. Those mosh pits where they yeah. are that's what it was like. You. It started kind of innocent. Yeah, but I just, mean you could really get hurt in something yeah. like that. Honestly, yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, some dude bashing you with a pillow. And yeah, goes, people were acting crazy. Some guy lit his pillow on fire. I was crowd surfing. It was. Oh, was it you who lit the pillow on yeah. fire? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you were the crazy one at first, but then I ran out of energy, and and then this, this, hey, this like, was weird. He he. Howard TV, I think, is going to put it on tonight. Uh, I, guys, I, they want me to put on my glasses. Oh, my glasses are filthy. I got he can't that, see out of his glass. I got that jizz that you put on your glasses. What jizz? You know, that cleans them, but I didn't yeah. do it today. My classes get filthy so fast. <laughs> so sick of it. You know, male sperm, Robin, jizz. <laughs> no, it's just jizz they sell. Like some Eye jizz. Eye jizz. <laughs> Eyeglasses jizz. <laughs> just pulled half the hair out of my head from the fucking eyeglasses. I get tired and cranky about this time. I was, I was full of energy three hours ago. I'm an old guy. Got to pace myself. Yeah, these are dirty too, my sunglasses. Now I'm switching the sunglasses. It breaks my momentum. Leave me alone with the glasses. Who cares? I'm ugly. Who's Go sending you those notes? Look on Stern Fan Network. They'll tell you how ugly I am. Bastard motherfuckers. Writing shit about their hero. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Are, you got some clips or something I'm supposed to listen to? What are these tapes I'm going to hear? Anybody going to help me uh, with this? Benji going crazy? I don't know if they... I don't know if... I know they have a lot of visual clips. I don't know if they have audio clips. It says Fred has audio. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, there he is. That's the pillow fight. Now Benji's getting in it. He's taking off his clothing. He's getting nude. <laughs> He's in his underwear. He's really wailing people with that pillow. <laughs> Crazy. Just stop the tape for a second. The only one with, oh my God. Sure. Why did you take your clothes off? Well, I thought we were going to have a countdown, and in the middle of it, I was going to, like, I, I had pre cut my shirt so I could rip it off like the Incredible Hulk. Right. But uh, it just started, and I, I just thought it would be better. <laughs> and what happened? Like, you got you, you exerted so much energy, you had to lay down In on about the ground. 10 seconds. And I'm, I, 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 like, I, I really couldn't move. Like my, I, I, I guess I'm out of shape. You went into a coma. <laughs> he went into a coma. They said he had to take a pillow and lay down. And then this woman comes over and freaks out. Why? Because she's like, oh, are you all right, sir? Are you all right? And, oh. then, and then he whacks her in the head with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you know you got an interview with the cops that have to cover this. You know what I mean? Yeah, poor bastard. <laughs> they probably love having to deal yeah, with this they're shit. Like, you know what, man? It's hard enough to be a cop. Now I got to deal with. Oh, here, here's Benji on the ground. All right, he's lying down. Oh, and he's all cut. You see him? He's bleeding. He's like having a heart attack. People are stepping on him. Oh my god! Are you okay, sir? Are you okay? Way to uh, linger her in. Uh, this is Iraq! This is Iraq! Get out of her mind! Oh my god, they're all ganging up on Benji now. <laughs> Beating him with a bullet. Wow. What kind of stupid event is this? <laughs> dude, you were like having a heart attack, dude. It, it, it got really bad because then all these little kids wouldn't stop hitting me and it, mm. it was really painful. <laughs> then there wow. was also some sort of like. Uh, 
I don't know why. There was a sex and media protest going on. And you went over there? We joined that, too. I don't know. Maybe I'll have that on the TV <laughs> Did you show. you hit people with pillows? You can't hit them with pillows. No, I joined, like, there's these girls dancing and rapping about sex and media. And you danced and rapped with them? Against sex and media. Yeah, yeah. I think you're going to be the subject of Howard TV tonight, quite well, frankly. This is Iraq. <laughs> Oh, there, there they are. What are they dancing about? Sex, Sex in the media. And you got Look up and danced with them. <laughs> but put a ben- Benji cam on, and man, he starts to perform. He's got his shirt off, and he's performing with these nice black girls. <laughs> and they're all laughing. The tits on that one chick who doesn't like Sex in that's the media. That's me. That's me. Oh, that's Benji's tits. <laughs> Benji's file. <laughs> the girls are laughing. That's funny to video, dude. <laughs> girls are always like, uh. I like this girl's yelling at her agenda. <laughs> and I'm watching Benzie try to dance in the back. Is their response to Fergalicious? Yeah, they're upset about Fergalicious. Were people waiting for their response? <laughs> Benji's dancing with them. How come they're not acknowledging you, Benji? <laughs> like, why didn't they throw you out? I guess they, they knew I was against sex in the media also. Meanwhile, Benji's not that bad a dancer. Like, he's, he's doing the same doing things. He's doing moves. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta see this tape tonight on our TV. That's a, a, all this thanks to Lee Gerowitz, our new producer. Oh, Good job, great. Lee. They found the that right. They found the seven worst dancing Puerto Rican slash black chicks <laughs> in the Bronx. This is Benji in Union Square in New York City, and there's about to be a massive pillow fight. A lot of people here to fuck around, but I'm here to kick ass. I'm very serious about this. People will die.
Kick his ass. What do you have for us from the Howard 100 News? What is the team covering? Tell us all. Just some of the stories we're covering. Yes, go ahead, Artie. Yes. <laughs> Just some of the stories we're covering. Is fatty fat man Artie Lang. <laughs> go ahead, Steve. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. <laughs> you say it's your birthday. Howard 100 News has its hands on the smoking candle in the Benji Bronk bogus birthday business. Ooh. This copy of Benji's voter registration filled out by Benji himself clearly indicating his date of birth, September 4th, 1967. Oh, so he missed his birthday. Mm. Benji signing up to vote here in New York back in October of 1988. That date's significant because if he were born in 1971, as he pretends, that would have meant he registered to vote when he was just 17 years old. Bottom line, it's over, Benji. You're 40. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah! uh, I have contradictory information, really? actually. Which is wrong, by the way. It is? Yes. You, 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 you... <laughs> Which I is have wrong. information that says he's 36. Right, and that that is uh, the false lead. Gary, where is that? Nice, Steve. Look at you sniffing it out. You're saying Snuffing Benji's 40, out. boy. That's wow. unbelievable. We got it right here. It's wow. Voter registration. What's your the signature. big deal, dude? You're a guy. No, it's what? it's really not. But Benji it's, has this thing with his age because he thinks like you know he's too old to really I, be a young comedian or a young comedy writer, and he <laughs> wants to. This is what he tells me. So he doesn't want anyone to know his age. So if he ever has to go get another job, it's really not a big know. deal. But it's not correct. You're lying. I do. All right. I'll I take a lie detector test. I think I have Let's proof that he's 36. Actually, mm, it's wrong. <laughs> Are you 36? <laughs> He's Are got we going right to do a lie detector? <laughs> have you ever? What do you have there again? Voter registration, New York City, mm. 1988. Benjamin Ron Bronx. So who you're saying wrote that? You did. It's right here. So you're saying that I, I wrote that? that and that's signature? proof? Is that his signature? That's yeah. That's proof if yeah, I wrote you it? You filled it out. And your birth date... Is I'm September not going to say 4th, whether or not I wrote that, but, are wow, you say, there we go. but your proof is that I wrote that at one time. Dude, no sideshows. Bottom line, you're 40. <laughs> I agree with Steve right, here. I, I like him snuffing out the Benji sideshow. Right. Help me with this, Steve. I, it says here, I have information on Benji that confirms his real date of birth. You might say I do a lot of work as a private investigator. We saw this. I have the ability and resources to research just about anyone. Um, blah, 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 blah. I hope this information sheds some light. Benji is looking for intention. He's definitely not 40. He's 36. And mm -hmm. this guy claims that uh, Benji's date of birth is 9471. And he says, here's Benji's social security number and the last four digits and blah, blah, blah. Right. No, I won't oh, do that. No, no, Howard, no. there are dozens of those emails that you will find because an amateur will look into this case and see the false <laughs> lead created by Benji. <laughs> Indicating Ooh. 1971. Your, you, your mm. proof is irrefutable. Yeah. Absolutely. Your, got your it. materials are irrefutable. You it's don't have deal. anything All but right. that voter registration? We have other material, too. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. All right. Very yeah. good. Uh, Benji, I'm going to go with you 40 years old, well, pal. You could go with what you want. Good. But I mean, okay. And it's kind of girly not to just know your real age and say it. I mean, I, it's not a. It's, it's a. You know, and, and this whole young comedy writer thing, you know, get over it, dude. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? None of us are young anything. That's anymore. right. You know. Well, uh, did you hear the wrap up show yesterday, Howard? Yeah, I did. The My whole thing's ridiculous. God, did he, 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 he was good at hijacking you know, that. And there's no names to be mentioned, yeah. and there's all kinds of. He, he's, he's off his rocker. But well, me and Fred know there's a name Benji goes oh. nuts if you mention Benji, it. Benji, slowly I turn. Swear on the life of your mother that you're not 40 years old. I, I really don't like doing that. Well, well, if you force me to, I will. I'll force you. I, sw I, I really don't like doing that. I, I feel I it's, hear you. I feel you it's wrong to do If you want to settle it. All right, I swear on the life of my mother, I'm not. I'm not what? What? 40. 
You got to say it in one complete sentence. 40 I, years old. I swear on the life of my mother, I'm not 40 years old. Whoa. 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 I know Benji Listen, loves his does family. Does that send you back to the uh, drawing board? Mm -hmm. No. Shuley asked him yesterday on tape, okay, where's your ID? Oh, gee, let me, let me take a look. I, I, well, you know what? I, I don't have any. He doesn't. Come where's on. your driver's license? He doesn't have. Listen, that, there are the records that are incorrect. Do you have I'll a driver's license? Do you no. Look, you do not. You're not lying. N no. You don't know how to drive. Yeah, I know how to drive. And you don't have a license. No. And then we said, how do you get on planes? Because after 9/11, right. you need a picture. He goes, I, I heard that a part. Penn State mm. ID. That will work. It student, will. Student ID is. Um, but wouldn't that, is, is, wouldn't that have to have valid information like date of birth and all that? Student stuff like ID that? is accepted at an airport as a form of ID. Uh, all right. When was he a student? Does that have your birth date on it? Yes. It should, I guess. Then give us your student ID. Yeah. I've done it before. I'm not... Listen, there, I, I really... I, if Howard, you said to me before, if I request that this not be talked about, it wouldn't. And, and you... And what, I what, not for, be, what would not be talked about? This. We've had a discussion about your age? Yes. We never had that discussion. I don't recall that. All honestly, right. but maybe we have, but I don't okay. recall it. Benj, I got one question for you. All right. There's documentation from your high school that you graduated in 85. You didn't graduate high school at 14 years old, Correct. I'm not going to answer. Maybe I go. did. But, Howard, I mean, if I request not, if the, I have reasons I don't want to talk about. I just, you know, that's that's my thing, right? What is the reason? <laughs> I don't. What I, would the possible reason be? Are you CIA? He wants to be a young comedy no. writer, all right? <laughs> okay, fine. If that's, if that, that's, if that's enough me, for right? you to, if that's enough for you to accept, then, then, then I'd rather Fine, I'm not, not Steve brought it up. I didn't bring it up, and I didn't tell him to. All right. I, everyone has personal things they'd rather not discuss, right? Your age? Mm. You're being gay now. All yeah. right, fine. Then you think it's gay. Benji claims we had a discussion about his age, too, but I was all pilled up. Well, you know what? I don't recall us saying we're not going to talk about your age. You can talk about whatever you want, but I did request First it. interesting you thing you about you. All right. <laughs> but no, yesterday he got really hostile. He goes, I could fucking say something about everybody in this room right now that would ruin their lives. <laughs> oh, I like this game. I'm sure you can. Hey, That's what he said. And, a, and everybody's My like, question Whoa. is, why would that ruin his life to find out how old he is? It doesn't. It absolutely because he doesn't. Because he, he believes that he is a young, up-and-coming comedy writer. And if they hear he's 40, he's no longer an uh, up-and-coming comedy writer. Well, the jig is up. <laughs> well, let's say you believe that, that that's true. Then why, why wouldn't you... Would you? Like, I would never bring up your age. I don't th think about you ever. All right. Steve thinks about you. Do you think about me, Steve? Obviously, he does. We you always should be glad somebody cares. Go we ahead, love Steve. covering stories about mm. guys who aren't telling the truth. People could argue that you're not a comedy writer at any age. <laughs> <laughs> if you want your age discussed or not, I don't know. I'm sorry if uh, you don't. I don't even understand why. If you could explain that to me, I'd appreciate it. I don't understand what the controversy is, but I guess maybe you like the attention. Oh, that's yes. all. Thing. That's it. Benji keeps telling us that he's asked all of us to not talk about his age, which I sort of remember some things, but he's never been able to give us an explanation why. And if he would, I think that we'd all remember the explanation and yeah. then, you know, realize it was exactly. serious. Are you wanted by the law? You once told me. Yeah. Listen, all you have to say is, I'd rather not talk about it and we won't bring it up. So don't so just say, I'd rather not talk I'd about it. I'd rather not talk about it. All right. Steve can talk about it. He didn't agree. Steve's a news guy. Mm. All right. Whatever. Hey, Benji, I don't care how old you are. Honest, pal. All right. You'd say you're 14. What do I care? I'm not 14. All right, go ahead. Uh, you know, go ahead, Steve. I mean, this I is, mean, you know, know what? This is so boring. The young Benjamin. Hey, man. Or old Benjamin. I'm not really sure. That's right. What's going on, man? Why are you so um, endlessly frustrating about your age? Why is it frustrating? Well, because you can never give a straight answer. I mean, you're, you're a guy that I know that can, that can talk candidly about things, but when it comes to certain issues, you just... You just will not give a straight answer. Ben, seriously though, man. I've talked to you before. You're not a shy person. You're not typically uptight. You're open with your body. You're um, often, you know, open about asking questions to celebrities. You're, you're not afraid to mix it up, but then this one issue about your, um, you know, your age and your background and you get, you clam up. Does my ass look fat? See, you do it again. No, it doesn't though. It actually looks good, but. Did you just say his ass looks good? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I meant it. Really? Yeah, I mean, with, the, with your new Daryl Hammond wardrobe, I think you really, um, it really I like to get a curve to my ass. You ever notice how like some guys, like they say black guys have a nice curve to their ass and everything. I like to get that. Do you, do you, do you think my ass looks fat for this, bro? 
<laughs> Robin, why do you think ben, Benji's so endlessly frustrating about his age and his background? He's so open with other things. I don't know. He's working on a new groundbreaking form of comedy and nobody has gotten it yet. It's a weird adaptation of the Andy Kaufman syndrome. Yes, I think he's pushing it a little further and nobody can figure it out. He seems to think he's protecting someone or something. Is this all untrue? That's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. that's bullshit. But does, does, seriously, I mean... What would you give myself? What would I do to your ass? <laughs> what would you give it? <laughs> you know, a scale of one to ten. On a scale of one to ten, a two. Uh, and two being the highest or One lowest? for each cheek. <laughs> one for each cheek. Uh. Yeah, ten was the top. There's a one out there jealous of my ass. But Benji, you're typically so open about things. Right? I, I'm open about this. I am. But you won't come clean. Right now, you've just deflected this conversation into something about your ass. Yeah. I, you won't get down to brass tacks and discuss it. No, I will. I have. I have. You I won't, really, though. Because I, I, can't, I can't prove, I can't disprove anything on this. It's ridiculously so frustrating. It's, frustra it's frustrating to me, too. But just talk about it. Oh, no. All right. Provide Liar! Some, provide some Liar! More. Liar! <laughs> Liar! It's Jimmy Kimmel's guys here. Interloper. <laughs> <laughs> Provide some information and the speculation oh, and all the mystery surrounding it will end. I gotta pee. See? Well, no, He's doing I, it again. I'm not. You can hang out with me. You can come in with me. Come pee with me. Okay. I, I really. It's fine. I just. I gotta pee. Greg, I'm gonna reveal the name that Benji doesn't want me to reveal right now. Right now. I guarantee by the end of this piss, I'll have learned nothing more about your age or, your, or all the things you've been trying to keep secret. You don't, you don't want your penis on camera, right? I don't care. No, I'd rather. I'll cut you but off at the, um, if, the waist. If here. the pee looks yellow, it's because I, I take vitamin B. That means it's mellow. I do want to point out, because I'm always worried in this bathroom I'll get blamed for stuff. So what I often do in this bathroom is I, I, I clean the seat. What other people leave on. If you see there's like pubic hairs around, sometimes there's like little stains. Yeah, there are. There's a lot of them. Whatever I'm in here, I clean it because I always think I'm going to get blamed for it. So I clean the bathroom beyond what I've done to it. I'd like to point that out. It's yet another example of you going the extra mile, but yet you will, I'm not, always you will not go the extra mile with this information at all. You won't even, you won't even meet us halfway, Ben. None of these hairs are mine. I clean them off because I don't want to get blamed. See, you're skirting, you're skirting the age issue and turning it into a thing of bathroom cleanliness. And it's... Uh, I think my ass is better than a two. Uh, clearly. I mean pants. I mean, just a two. A two's like Jeff the drunk's ass, like with a hole in it. Yeah, look at that. That's nice, actually. See. It's distracting. I really do this all the time when I'm in here. I'm always worried I'm going to get blamed for messing here, and I don't want to get blamed. See, you know, this stuff is mine, but you I clean it up. tidying up. Now, let's clean up this interview and, and get down to it here. I need some information. I want to be the guy who cracks the story. I'm ageless, I'm timeless. Can you use songs like that? Like if you just start on. But this isn't about song. This is about your age. Benji, come out of your age closet. Get rid of those skeletons. I've just watched the man pee and I still didn't get any answers. <laughs> but, I thought, see? But, but I have to tell girls, like when I sleep with them, like I might... <laughs> In a couple hours, I might be screaming and, and like grabbing you and punching in the air. So I, 
I, you have nights. Night. I understand having to, you know. All right. He Just has another night terror. Another plus on your dream boat yeah. that's docked. <laughs> you know, when you get to sleep with a guy as hot as Benji, the, the only negative might be you might get punched in the face during your sleep. You, I, you're willing no, to risk that. You, you know, he's so similar to Antonio Sabato Jr. That. <laughs> I told Doug we should set up a, a time lapse camera, a, a, you know, a night vision camera at his apartment so we can watch him get the night terrors you know filming for like 10 hours you know uh oh you mean benji's apartment yeah benji's apartment i think it'd be funny to see you know to watch for 10 hours and see what happens yeah well many a woman's gotten to see that (laughs) that he found on the internet (laughs) another plus yeah. Put that one in the plus cup. <laughs> Benji, why there. were you making those noises? I know Fred plays them a lot. What, what, was, what was the origin of that? Well, hopefully we'll play it on TV sometime. We had about 10, 12 security guys chasing me, and I was dressed as a woman. I was running out in high heels. At Comic-Con. <laughs> and I was running out, and then right when I got at the door, I barked at them, and then ran out. Is that the bark? That <laughs> It was a scream, and at the end, I turn around, I start barking at them. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Have I ever played that on the air? The video? Well, no, the audio I, of the video. I, I, the well, this, this is what it is. Yeah, but have I ever, have I ever played the... Bits of it? You may have. You know, have I ever played the sequence that led I up to it? I think this? so, yeah. we. It's. I don't know if Fred wants to look it up, but it's called... It was at Comic-Con, and what happened is they were doing this... They had this little movie theater at Comic-Con, and they were showing a dis, like a, an example of a video game. Yeah. And it was this dark theater, and everybody's really into this Wolverine video game. And Benji started yelling out questions like, how far into the future is this? And just totally interrupting the video game. <laughs> I don't think I ever played that. I think we... Ha- I, I do think we're hearing that. that. Let me hear. It's funny as hell. What's it called? Comic Con? Comic Con. Yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to f- go through all these and pull them out. Alphabetical order. Video uh, yelling during video game demo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's it, yeah. Here we go. So the first thing we're going to start out with here is a, uh, a clip of Wolverine in the future. If any comic fans oh. are here, it's in, the, it's in a future timeline. This is Wolverine doesn't remember who he is. Where Where are we now? <laughs> in the future. <laughs> but where Where in the universe is this? You don't have to guess. How far in the future is it? (laughs) Sir? Sir, how far in the future is this? Unspecified. What? Unspecified. Is it at least more than 50 years? (laughs) Shut up. Sorry, sorry. Shut up. So it's less than 50 years? (laughs) Oh! Are these real actors? Is this animatronic? Sir? Oh. You're gonna have to ask you to be quiet. Oh, sorry, sir. Are sir. these real characters or are they animatronics? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get security up. if you don't stop talking. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm liking it so far, it's scary. Throw him out. He looks like you're an ass. Huh? What? He said it looks like you're an ass. Oh. oh that's what, is that Wolverine? No. <laughs> stop sorry, sir. <laughs> is this supposed to be New York to the future? Well, I'm sorry. I have every right to be here just as much as you do. You disturb people, man. Get out. You're so annoying. We're, we're from You're the media. Everybody, but that doesn't mean that you disrupt that. There's these people waiting outside and waiting to see this, and now you're disrupting us. It's not fair, so get out. But we had legitimate get questions. Get out. You don't have a legitimate question. Yes, we did. All I wanted to know was how far in the future it was. If anyone asked me how far in the future it was, it's over. Get the fuck out. Get out. You guys are being mean. <laughs> just, just get out. Stop it. Everyone. Just get out. Get the fuck out of here. Don't try. Get the fuck out. Just cut it out, everyone. Come on, You know, honey. Is, this, is, is this the kind of change on, we honey. wanted when Obama just won? Shut up and get out. Is it? Right shut up and get out. Change I wanted for you to get the fuck out. Is, is, is that necessary to say just, fuck? Just, just get out. There's kids in here. Just get out. Excuse me. Is it necessary to say fuck? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Are you a, are you with the Wolverine? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Are you a Wolverine? Get him out. Get him out. Are you a Wolverine? Are you a Wolverine? Are you come out of the That's the security he's talking to. Yeah. The oh, Wolverine are you game. a Wolverine? So when do you start screaming? Uh, well, then right. they talk to us, and uh, then we try to escape, or I try to escape. I have and, 58 seconds. And clip there's about of, 10 guys that start chasing us. Are you getting thrown out? Is this it? I, I, I honestly I don't remember. It was a couple months ago. 
If you have any control over this person? Not really. Not really. That's good to know. Can you step out? Um, they wouldn't tell us how far in the future it was. They wouldn't tell us. <laughs> Give me your passes. Let's go. I want that back. I want it back. You told me if I hand to you, I give it back. You told me. You told me. Turn the camera on. One more time. Let me. Say that. I got it. You dress like a woman, right? Turn the light off, turn the camera off. Turn the light off, shut the camera off. He grabbed your Turn the light off, shut the camera off. Turn the light off, shut the camera off. It's still on. Turn the light off, turn the camera off. What character are you guys? Get out of the building. Get out of the building. That's my character. Get out of the building. Are you a Wolverine? Get out of the building. Are you a Wolverine? Get out of the building. Goodbye. Get out of the building. <laughs> what 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 is he doing to you at that point when you make those noises? I think at that point we were all running out. Yeah, we were outside of the door. He <laughs> and just, I just turned back around and started barking. <laughs> <laughs> was, he, was he grabbing your? I boobs? ran back in and started barking at all. There was like there was like twenty security guys chasing me. And well, did they ask why you were dressed like a woman, or did they assume you were? A woman? Well, at that place, it wasn't that really weird. Yeah. I mean, there was people <laughs> dressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was still weird. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds it was, like you fit right in. It, it, just seeing him as a woman, like getting kicked out, was the funniest thing. When is ever. that? Oh, I see. The Benji clip will start airing on Howard TV in September, Robin. I know I you were see. waiting for that. It's funny because they just shove him out the door <laughs> and then slam the door behind him, and that's why he starts barking at him. So nobody's touching him. He's just doing it. <laughs> Howard TV has it all. Many a great clip on there. Many a great show. You know, every set of interns that ends up coming in here thinks he's weird, but this was kind of a good explanation of his weirdness, and, okay. I, and I think I know what's going on. How often do you talk with Benji? Uh, anytime he's back there, we usually... Just... What kind of stuff do you talk about? Uh, what do we talk about? Oh, he told me it was okay if I had a cupcake today. That was the extent of our conversation You today. guys know it's okay to have cupcakes well, no, before he... Benji told you guys, right? He was came that... into the back, and he's like... At first, it was just me in the back office. He's like, Katie, if you want, you can have a cupcake. I was like... <laughs> Okay, Benji, thanks. I just ate lunch, but I'll, I'll have a cupcake. And then Caroline walked in the back, and he's like, Caroline, you too. You can have a cupcake, too. And and then he left today. But I don't know. Usually just anything that's on my mind. We talked about Facebook last week. You know, Benji, like there's a couple of good-looking girls. Like that Katie Smiles, the one that Ronnie was all worked up mm -hmm, over until I put mm -hmm. him in. You know, I told him, stop. Who we nicknamed Smiles. Right. I told him he didn't need to nickname the interns. Particularly the female ones. And, <laughs> Only the female ones? Yeah. What's the big deal? She smiles a lot. I go, yeah, well, you just be the, you just be the older security guard who doesn't notice those things. <laughs> and if he does, he keeps it to himself. But I think Benji wants to mix it up with some of the interns. That's right. I want he knows my rule is that yeah. you can't fuck the interns, but he could develop a friendship with right. them and wait till they're not interning. Then here. I'll fuck them. Well, you know what? Yeah, okay, Benji. Why are you no, telling the intern? I made a joke. Oh I made a joke. I yeah, well, said... wait. Let me play more. All Here, right. wait. Let's play more of Benji's shtick. It's all shtick. Also, why, if it's just me at the intern uh, side of the room, there's four phones over there. Why do you have to choose yeah. mine and literally touch <laughs> me the whole time you're on the phone? Wait, what do you mean? Explain Sometimes, that. Sometimes, I would say once a week, Benji, after the show, will come out and make a, a really weird phone call. I, I'm not, I don't listen because I got my headphones he on. He did but, make a weird phone call today. I got to say, I got to agree. What's a know? weird phone call? He always chooses the first. I don't, he's, talk, he's like, hey, it's me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm on, I'm on a landline. You guys all these have witnessed yeah. this? Yeah. Or, or like he'll pick up the phone and it's like silent. Like he, like he's yeah. not saying anything. Like maybe the call didn't go through, but it seems like he's just has the phone to his head and is hanging. Because he's looking for a reason to stand near the female. Oh, yeah. Howard, that's such he's bullshit. He's showing off. And then, uh, yeah, and yeah. you know what? Yeah, uh, I'm showing off. Yeah, I can use a phone. Look and at I can me. guarantee you no one's on the other line. He's just oh. trying to show them that he has like a secret he's phone call. He's got something call. going on. Yeah, man, I'm on a landline now. Like, what could he have that he has to be on a landline? Like, <laughs> okay, that day. High I mean, security. Uh, yeah, he's talking no, to the FBI. I was FBI. talking to a friend that we couldn't get a clear cell connection. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why do you have to go stand by the interns? Howard. It, it, this is so no, fucking like ridiculous. No, there, he didn't make a call. Maybe he's listening for some white noise. Maybe uh, he can hear is a this, voice. Are, are there like Howard TV cameras around? No, no. no, they should be. Oh, so this is just so this is Benji just being Benji. Yes, what correct. Uh, what what's the call that you witnessed today? He gets on the phone right next to me and he goes, 
uh, hi, I need an appointment in an hour. <laughs> are you going to be? <laughs> are you going to be there? No. Okay. Bye. And that was it. And I was just. Yeah. He reminds me of like because I'm famous. A lot of times I'll go to a resort or go somewhere nice for vacation. No, 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 no just just cut and the fuck out. Man, this statement? is such bullshit. All right, anyway, so it's all right. I can fix that. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so like, like I'll be there, and guys will get on a cell phone and start talking about million dollar deals. Right. I made you a fucking ten I million. Do- a fucking ten, excuse me. I I fucking make you ten million dollars. That was one of the biggest deals we've ever done. You're telling me, and they start like acting like tough guys. Yeah. I've seen it five million times. They always do it. <laughs> or guys who are with their kids all of a sudden start getting really super involved with the kids, so I'll notice them. They're ignoring the kids, and they see me, and they're like, come on, man, let's, you know, and they act like hip dads, like they're too hip with the kid, you know, right. like like they're best friends with them. It's a whole show people put on for you. And I think Benji puts on a show for the interns to show him what a big shot he is. That's my theory on it. using a fucking phone! That's my theory. This is shtick as well. No, right. it's not, Robin. I'm sick of this fucking crap. <laughs> Are you guys treating me like shit? You know, I just went back there and made a fucking phone call. Okay, you're sick of it? Quit. I, I, they, no, oh, Robin, let's, let's have you walk out by your fucking charity. <laughs> Oh, Benji's yeah, so fucking so weird. Fucking we have a great tape. It's going on Howard TV. The other day, someone said, hey, Star Jones is doing a thing in a, in a window, a broadcast of some kind. They called Benji. Benji goes, I'm going to go right down there. He shows up in a horse's head. Really? Yeah. And he's standing outside the Star Jones broadcast. He sees a guy walk by who's in an Elmo costume. Nothing to do with Benji. He gives him a dollar and says, here, stand here with me. So now Benji's in a horse's head with horse's hooves. And now Elmo standing right. next to him. And he starts screaming. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Here. Pl- oh, wait, wait, just freeze this. I can explain it better. People can't see the TV yes. set. Let me, let me just handle it, guys. So anyway, then Benji starts screaming at Star Jones. It's me. It's Benji. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So then two guys come out who are like security types. Okay. Who are totally annoyed and want to beat the shit out of Benji. You know what I mean? So the two security guys are like, get the fuck out of here, you know, more or less. <laughs> Benji goes, I'm a horse. If you address me as a horse and treat me like a horse, I will then respond to you. What's going on, guys? Why is audio coming up on me? <laughs> All right. Th- they insist. Go ahead. Play the part where the two guys come out and Benji demands that he be treated like a horse. Because if you are, you should talk to me like a horse. Say, like, uh, okay. giddy up, giddy up. You ain't going on TV. So yes, say, giddy up. Thank you. Say, giddy up. Excuse me. You say, giddy up. I don't know. Say, giddy up. I'm a horse. It's getting weird. I live my life as a horse. I want you to respect that. Transsexuals get respected and treated as women. I want to be treated as a horse. Now, okay, stop it. So these two guys, these two guys, they don't look like they're kidding around, no, right? No, not at all. They look like they very look like tough guys. Very serious. Right business but guys. Benji doesn't back down. Like That's could, what's beautiful about it. You could tell they just want to hit him in the fucking head. And they're standing in the middle of the street. They would have taken care of this oh. had there not been an audience. Years ago, Benji would have just been dead. <laughs> so Benji screams at him that he wants to be treated like a horse. Some guy from out of nowhere sees what's going on. He figures it out. Because these guys won't treat Benji like a horse. Right. He just goes, hey horsey, giddy up. And then Benji goes, <laughs> like Benji looks at him and he goes, Okay, and then Benji <laughs> starts. Off. Benji st- gets on all fours in the dirty, filthy New York City street. Oh my God! He's walking around like a horse. He comes up to where the subway is. He throws him down himself down the subway steps. Here, watch this. <laughs> Wait a minute! Here, Are watch you this. Kidding? He throws himself down the steps. He doesn't. He doesn't walk. Horses, go, horses, go, horses. That's on the subway. Go horse! Go, 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 go! The guys yelling at him. Go, go horse! Horses, go horse! Go, go, go horse! <laughs> He went down like a horse. <laughs> All, right. All right. The guy who's yelling him, go horsey, yeah. perfect stranger on the street because he figures out how to get rid of Benji. This is not even a guy involved with no. the security guys. Benji then rolls down the steps under the subway. He comes out on the opposite side of the street. Oh, he just goes up the other set, set of stairs? On all fours and comes out under a truck. The truck could have fucking run him over. Oh, my He's insane. God. He's fucking, he really is crazy. If you don't think he's crazy, watch that tape. Am I right or wrong? Is he nuts? Yeah, and you know, the other part that you left out, which is earlier, so he's got Elmo there. Uh-huh. So Elmo doesn't even know why he's there. 
All of a sudden, Benji pretends to start butt fucking Elmo. Now, right. if I were Elmo, I would have turned around and punched the horse in the head. Right. Then he then he wants Elmo to pretend to blow him, and that's when Elmo leaves. Uh. <laughs> it was only a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah. how do you know that Elmo's not going to kick the shit out of you? Dave, hi, you're on the air. He's a horse. Hey, Howard. I know. What what the hell is wrong with Benji, man? I just I can't stand this guy. He's mentally ill. I don't know how you put up with him. Well, I got to say, when you watch the tape, he, he he is funny. He does go for it, but it's crazy. It's funny, but he's he's just he's a sick motherfucker, man. No, he, I don't know he how is. You put he, up with him. He's mental. <laughs> All right, Rich, go ahead. Howard. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Um. Well. Um, as far as Benji goes, he can do that stuff in the street, that's fine. But his stick in the studio, that's bullshit. When he starts yelling real loud? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I, that's obnoxious. He's putting it mild. Am I, can I talk? No. He, has no, he, has no, he has no right to do, be Rich. putting him, He wants to put himself in, in, in your place, basically. The Rich. Doing. Rich. Yeah. I think he thinks he's Andy Kaufman. Yeah. yeah. Well, when I get treated like shit, I want to respond like anyone would want to respond. And, and when, when I can't, yeah, sometimes I get angry and I yell. That's, I don't think that's, that's so atypical. That's well, calm, in that, Benji. In, in anywhere else, it might not be atypical, Benji, but there, it is definitely uncalled for. Right, that? right. It doesn't fit in. Right. It's, you're, you're well, I don't fit in with you guys. place to be doing that, not you. Right. And I don't even do that. Exactly. You don't have to because right, you Barry, you're on the control. air. Go ahead. Hi, Barry. Oh, good morning, Howard. Morning. Listen, Benji's not crazy. He's just a pathetic loser who needs attention, and uh, he doesn't know how to go about it the right way. And, right. Uh, just keep him off the air already. It's, okay. It's getting to be a goddamn ridiculous. Yeah, I usually do, but I, you know, uh, I just thought that was kind of funny with the interns talking about what he carries on all around. Yeah. All over. It's uh, Howard. You, He's so it's, odd. Like the other day, I was hanging around here doing some work, and then I came in to use the, my bathroom. Uh huh. And Benji was in here with some dude, and. And he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm like, why is he apologizing? He it said, was a big mistake, and I apologize well, why for why are we apologizing? Mistake? Because I felt like I, I, I didn't want to be invading your space when but, you were but, all but, sick but, that day. I know, but, I know. It was a mistake. You don't have to apologize no, to me. No, I know. It you work it, here. I, I know, but I didn't want to make you uncomfortable, and I felt bad. I wasn't uncomfortable. It, it was just, I, I know it was a mistake to even say that. Yeah. I made it worse. I agree. I felt like I... What, you were what, real what, sick what that I, day. Uh, Mark Gaddafi? No, you're not like that at all. And all I, right. I made a big mistake. I just... I felt like, oh my God, like he's so sick today. I know he doesn't want to like be in front of people. I see. All right. So. Okay. All right. We heard enough from you. Thank you for being considerate, though. Get him off the air. Right. And Baba Booby to y'all. Bye. Sean, go ahead. You're on the air. How you doing? Our big yeah. fan, long listener. Um, I just want to say I love Benji. I think he is a main part of the show. I think he's fucking hilarious. Well, there you and go. Fuck you. One of my favorite parts <laughs> of the show, because it's so rare, is when you do fuck with Benji. Right. I think it's hilarious. Very good. There's a Benji fan. Anthony, there go you ahead. Go. You're on the air. <laughs> yes, yeah, Anthony. I don't know what he's talking about. Benji's an asshole. I've been, I've been a fan for a long time myself, since so about 87. I want to talk about that other douchebag, uh, Ronnie, the limo driver. Right. Last week, he was saying how uh, how you thought he got famous and everything and started uh, going out on them promotions and uh, Rick's Cabaret and all right. that shit. If you listen to the tapes, bring back some tapes from Hank, the angry dwarf, angry drunken dwarf. I think when uh, Hank died... Ronnie kind of like just stole his uh, material and whatnot. I don't know. Ronnie's Ronnie's always been like this. He's doing Hank's uh, stick. Listen to the tapes. He sounds just like him. All right. I will uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison. <laughs> Frank, go ahead. You're on the air. All right, Frank. Yo, Howard. I'm sorry, buddy. Yes. Hey, man. Uh, I think Benji's hysterical. All right. Very good. Rob, go ahead. You're on the air. I, would, I need more Benji. So much more Benji. Well, if you'll love this tape if you see it. I mean, you got to see him go down those stairs uh, as a horse. I was oddly fascinated. <laughs> it's gonna be on Howard TV. Yes. When? When is it gonna be on, Doug? We're gonna put that on the Daily Show from tonight. So it'll be on tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Is. Tomorrow night. Right. It's its debut. You'll see. It's insane. I mean, especially when he crawls out at the end into <laughs> traffic with cars just about running. Look at. Watch this part, Robin. All right. And oh react. My Look. He is under a truck. Under truck. Now watch. Now he's going to go out into traffic. Don't get my ass too The fuck is wrong? Are you? You're not even looking at the Benji, traffic. Benji, what was that about? Don't you care about living? I mean, if any of those cars. Then he's neighing in the middle of the block. <laughs> oh, he's got an audience. <laughs> Look, all of traffic has stopped. Come on, man, you close. 
Someone should just run him over. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking, dude? Or are you not? It was like a last minute thing. Doug's yeah. like, just come out, be obnoxious. And I had to, okay. You know. Well, well, there you, you go. Hey, but bill. since, uh, you know, I was so weird out in the uh, intern With the interns, office, yeah. Why don't we get the security tape when I was on the phone? Okay. We'll do that later. Show it. Right. Maybe we will. Uh, they didn't say anything bad. They said to you, you use the phone and they don't think you're using it for real purposes. I mean, is that something to get freaked out about? Yeah, it, it is. Okay. I, mean, I just, I don't like to be like, I don't like to be treated like shit. Any, Why are they treating I, you like shit? You, you, sometimes you do sticky stuff. And I wasn't like, doing anything. But they can't guys. tell. No, no. That's, I'm just. They're just yeah, being yeah, upfront. I don't think that's treating you. Personally, personally. Personal. Yeah, I, th- I think they're just being upfront. They can't tell. <laughs> like if they were like Benji's a fat <laughs> fuck who comes when in the back just, office when, and, and when you do sticky stuff, it's yeah. not. People don't know. Sometimes they can't tell when you're fucking around and when you're not. That's part of what I'm doing. It is. I'm sure, Andy Calvin went through the same shit. If you're gonna believe he was fucking dead, he's not. No, no. So, Howard, uh, <laughs> please on a high note, that's not upset. So, yes, I am. Uh, so, I gotta get stuff done. Don't, 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 please don't get involved in this. I don't. In the long run, I don't. But, but you don't like to be treated like shit. Yeah, they got four minutes, you just use two of them. You know, if, if someone makes up something about you at a restaurant, so Howard, you don't like Chris that. Cornell, right? No. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> It looks hot, but I don't know what it means. Turn it on, man. So horse it does calm fun. me down. Thirty hours. So Benji, you're feeling I'm vilified right now. I don't know if that's 100 percent the right word, but yeah, I think you have the right idea. Yeah, show, show I'm me f- what maligned might be a better word. Okay. All right. Explain to me why. Then you gotta get through. How long does it take to get through? Sometimes I use a phone back here. There's phones. I don't have my basically my office is inside the studio. I don't have a phone there. So sometimes I have to make a phone call. I try on the cell. Sometimes there's not a good connection. It, it's you know it dies out. Actually, that's not a cell. This is so. But uh, so I mean, really, in all honesty, I just there's just not me. I came back here to use the oh, phone. Here we go. Here but we go. They're asking yeah, me to do it. Sure, whatever. All right, oh. fine. I'm not doing it, man. Fuck. This is this is Benji getting shit up. Come on, man. Stick all the time. Right. He would have gotten back out of her way. Gary would have been on the board. I think this is fandom. Benji, you're really mad. Uh, I don't. I just. I'm sick of the bullshit. Man. It really is. That's the funny thing. It's the same. There's a whole issue here. In New York, they're they're raising the tolls into the city. Aren't they like doubling them? I keep hearing the news story, and it sounds like they're going up a lot. They're yeah. supposed to, you know, take a lot more money out of people's pockets over the course of a year. Well, they were holding a hearing. A lot of people are really pissed off. Like, like it, the whole thing's kind of crazy. Like, you know, anybody who has to commute into Manhattan for a living is like, what? Are you kidding me? You're going to double the tolls? It costs a lot already. Is that the issue, Benji? They're going to double them, right? Isn't it that much money that they're actually going to... You know what? It, what I, it, I know it's for a large increase of the fares and the tolls, but I don't know what the actual amount yeah. is. And I think it's like, it's it's definitely going to happen. They're just having hearings. For so them. they held a hearing on it. A lot of people are outraged. And then um, they, I think at the hearing, they bust in a bunch of uh, uh, transit type workers or something because they're right, for they it. said union people. Union uh, people. Construction yeah. people. Construction, yeah, well, they're for it because it's, it represents but more money yeah, for jobs. In fact, some of them told me they were kind of forced to... To show up. Yeah. So it was this whole big hearing, pretty serious topic. But you know what? These hearings, everybody gets up and talks and talks and talks. Yeah, it would cost motorists seventeen dollars by twenty fourteen, yeah. up from the current eight dollars if the tolls are increased. So Benji went to the hearing, and one of the complaints was that the hearing was like the, the room was too small and this and that. Everyone was just kind of, kind of irritated. Everyone gets up and makes speeches. I but, think so many people get up and make speeches that you become dulled right, to whatever they're it saying. Doesn't even matter anymore. So but ben- I also think they're at odd times of the day. They yeah. are. And so Benji got up there, and he started doing the speech from Footloose. Remember when uh, Kevin Bacon gets up? Yes. And he gets up to the, to the high school meeting because he wants to have a dance. <laughs> and remember how proud the girlfriend is? Yes. Lori uh, Singer, right? <laughs> and the dad even changes his mind about Kevin Bacon. Everybody's beaming. Everyone's beaming because the kid's making a lot of sense. You know, fuck it, let's have a dance, <laughs> even though it leads to sex. <laughs> you know that dancing? So Benji got up at the transit hearing, the Port Authority hearing, I should say, on toll hikes, and actually made the same speech. And what's amazing to me is so many people are making speeches. It appears that nobody's even upset. They, they don't even know what he's talking about, and they don't care. Hey, let him go on. Yeah. He, I just wanted to say a few words about this motion. 
<laughs> so that you wouldn't think that we were encouraging destruction with this idea. You know how Benji gets thrown out after the first five seconds yeah, of anything he, he does? And he doesn't expect to have to go on, does he? He got through his whole speech. <laughs> and I think people liked it. <laughs> From the oldest of times... There's something about this speech, even when Kevin Bacon made it, it wins people over. <laughs> if you ever find, writing. If you find things are going desperately bad for you, just make the speech from Footloose. People dance for a number of reasons. They dance to prayer or so that their crops would be plentiful or so their hunt would be good. <laughs> and they danced. I'm telling you, I watched the video of this. <laughs> And the, people, people are they're, sleeping. They're, they're just like, it's just like any other speech. And it sounds serious, and it sounds like the guy's trying to make a point. And, and for all they know, he probably is making a point. To stay physically fit and show their community spirit. And they dance to celebrate. And that is the dancing that we're talking about. Aren't we told in Psalm 149, praise ye the Lord? Sing unto the Lord a new song. Let them praise his name in the dance. Amen. And it was King David. King David, who we read about. Now at this point, Benji stands up and like detaches the microphone from the mic stand. And he's walking around. He's walking around. <laughs> so it sounds like he's very serious. King David. And, <laughs> and Samuel. And what did David do? Go ahead. What did David do? Say it. What did David do? David danced before the Lord with all his might, leaping and dancing before the Lord. Leaping and dancing. <laughs> Beautiful read, by the way. Ecclesiastes oh assures us that there is a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to laugh. And a time to weep. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we're going to show this on TV. but yeah, Of the, course we are. The visual on this, the funniest thing is there's a woman standing next to Benji who has to sign everything he says. Yeah. And when Benji gets excited, she gets excited. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, there's a sign language lady oh, there. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty cool video, actually. Good work, Benji. Hey, thanks. Actually, uh, I want to thank the girl who shot it. Was a guest on the show. I'm friends with her. Oh no, I'm kidding. Uh, the dog girl, remember yeah. Nikki Mustaki. Oh, Pet the dog girl. Of who the hell are you talking the about? The dog girl. Oh, well, she shot it for us. <laughs> Very Postcardproject.com. A time to mourn, and there is a time to dance. <laughs> right. And there was a time for this law, but not anymore. See, this is our time to dance. It is our way of, of celebrating life. Hmm. It's the way it's always been. <laughs> How inspirational. And everyone's just kind of in a, I don't know, a haze. What is really going on? Because you know, nobody's stopping him. No. Nobody realizes this is nonsense and has nothing to do with the fair hike. Right. This is but, crazy. This is what is happening with our tax dollars. But in a way, I mean, it's like I think they were thinking like, well, maybe he's saying, OK, dancing. It's a, he's against the proposition to raise the taxes and to raise the tolls. And he's saying we should dance as a community. You know, who knows what I mean, who knows what or they were just like tuned out. And it's sort of, you know, he seemed fairly serious. And it seems like nobody's listening to anyone. And listen to that read. I mean, it, it rivals. Kevin Bacon's performance. <laughs> it's the way it should be now. What an actor. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. <laughs> well, Thank you. The guy thanked him. <laughs> yeah. And actually, it worked. Port Authority is having a dance now. Yeah. They're having a big dance. <laughs> yeah. All of Port Authority is dancing. I don't want to jinx you or anything, but you're kind of on fire lately with your, you know, oh, thanks, coming on man. the heels of your Anthony Weiner press conference debacle. And uh, now this, most recently, this uh, Footloose parody. Thanks. But what's coming down the pike for you next? Where, you know, where, where is your mind taking you? Where, you know, because the creative juices are. I would like to have done you. this. Like, I didn't really. Uh, I want to. It's an idea I had a long time for a long time. I always thought that speech was so fun, but I wanted to. Uh, 
I should have memorized the speech, which I know. I just I I didn't get the movie in time. But uh, next time I'd like to memorize the speech. But anyway, Ben, where do you, you know where do you get the ideas for this? Does it, does it does it come to you? Do you brainstorm? Do you see a movie? That's and say, an idea hey, I had for years. I've always life. wanted to do that, like go to a meeting and uh, do that speech. That's one of the few movies I've seen. I love that speech scene. Um, I love that whole movie. Are there any other movies or scenes that, or uh, uh, you know, maybe real life events that you'd like to recreate? Well, at the uh, at the Howard Stern uh, speech, our last day rally. I don't know if anyone like caught it, but like I did uh, our final day rally after K Rock. Right. When we uh, were saying goodbye to and the, went to the rally and all that. Yeah. Stuff. At the rally, I did. Uh, I did it in English, but as I did a Hitler speech, um, <laughs> like Hitler rallying people, like my blood for our blood. To, I forget what it was, but I should have memorized that one. Too. Yeah. So maybe you're, you're gonna go back to your dictator. Hitler gave Stick. very good speeches. He was a very powerful Hitler man. And Kevin Bacon both give good speeches. Hmm. Yeah. Perhaps there's a connection in history. Yeah. Six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Jews don't like bacon. I do. Kara Sedgwick is Jewish, though. She's so hot. She is. Well, good job, Benj. We're all proud of you. on Benji's hand, uh, Benji trying, I think Benji wrote all over his hand to try to get me to talk about that he had a gig last night. He was trying to get attention. Yeah, yes. so he wrote all over his hand, because you would write all over your hand at some point later when in the day. you didn't have paper. Right. He's sitting in a mountain of paper. Yeah, he could write on paper, he could write, uh, he could have a teleprompter, he could do a lot of different things, a big giant cue card, but he wrote all over his hand. Holy shit, Benji, why don't you just get a tattoo on your forehead that says, I desperately crave attention because all of your behavior makes it blatantly obvious. Writing lyrics on your hand? My God, you give me the worst douche chills. I literally am embarrassed for you. All you do is take away from the show. Please go crawl in a hole somewhere so people don't have to hear you, let alone see you. Did you do your gig last night? Yeah. How did it go? Uh, I think it was a lot of fun. Right. Do you understand what you people... You think are... it was fun. Well, I, I had a fun, and it seemed like the audience did, but I don't know for sure what people's opinions are. And you sang one song, and your girlfriend did a whole set? Um, I did uh, I did one song, you know... Online the Sweetheart. Of, and then I was a little part of a lot of songs. I see. Did you go, Gary? No, no, no. No, no right. No. But I, I was just watching some of it. You know, right. you had a blonde wig on, a shirt with the, their picture on it. They sang Online Sweetheart. Was it good? I mean, was there any ability there? Uh, Benji really can't carry a tune. She has to sort of get him through it, but then she can right. sing. Right. She got a, she got a good voice. And what is Benji wearing? A blonde wig. A blonde why, wig. Why? Why the blonde wig? Uh, is this part it, of your persona on stage. The woman, <clears throat> sorry, the woman showed up that did my hair before, and she just she brought some wigs. So I said, yeah. That, oh, oh I see. You wanted hair. Yeah, it just seemed right. fun. Right. Um, I think I think uh, her father's in the band. Right. And I know her mother was there, and somebody yelled out during the show, did you fuck her yet? Which, which point, Benji said her mother's right there. Right, well. Benji, does she let you bang her yet? 
Uh, I would like to introduce Elisa's mom. But, um, you know, I had a really weird conversation with Benji off the air during the wrap-up show yesterday about yeah. his hands. Yes. And I said to him, I go, like, Benji, like, what's with the hands? And he goes, what are you talking about? And I said, well, why is that on? He goes, well, I wrote the lyrics. He goes, and I was going to wash them off. Uh, because I thought that it might become a thing on the show, and then I, th- I thought to myself, well, why am I doing what they want? And I go... That's not what it is. Because you're coming to work. No, no, you said something really weird. No, like, I'm, I said, like, I didn't do it for attention, but then it hit me like, oh, everyone's going to start yelling at me, this is for attention. Mm-hmm. That's why I didn't right, even talk about and then it. Why didn't you? why didn't you wash it off? Because uh, it's like Because you want attention. Mm-hmm. No, say what you said. Because it was helpful for me to have it on there. That's not I, what you said to me yesterday. You said, "I don't. Why should I conform. adhere to what you guys want?" No, 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 right. No, I'm saying I'm not going to like just do it because I know that you guys. No, are you do it because it distracts from I, the show when you what, put shit all over your hands, and then we have to get into what you're doing. So you really crave attention. The the, the person I didn't riding do the, it for attention. Of course, I thought did. I thought right. yesterday was a very passive aggressive moment. I'm being very serious. What you said to me was, "I know that it's going to draw attention." But I'm not going to change for you guys. No, I want to do what I want. That's I, exactly what I heard. But right, we have sure. a job, and we do a show, that's and you not think what of I the said. show. That's not what I said. That's what everyone in the room heard, too. Okay. That's mm-hmm. not what I so, said, though. I, but I, you're I like, why should I, I wash it off he, for you guys? It's, it's slightly different, but if you want me to say it, I'll say it. Well, he said, why should I wash it off for you, you guys? Go, why, I was going to wash it off, but then I thought, why should I do what you guys want? I just want to be who I am. So why don't I be who I am and not show up anymore, and you'll be out of a job? All right. Well, what did you say? I said, when I initially put it on, the, the thought was like, hey, this is a good tool for me to have. And then it did hit me before the show, like, oh, they're going to fucking yell at this and say, you're only doing this for attention. Right. And I did think for a moment, like, why well, I, I should, maybe I should wash it off just because I don't want to deal with that crap. Good. But then I thought, like, you know what? This is not that absurd to do, to write something on your hand as a note to remember something. That's not and what I'm, you said, though, yesterday. It really isn't what you said. You said, I thought to myself, well, why do I want it? Why do I have to do what you guys want? That's, ex- that's exactly what you said, now that I'm remembering. All right, if that's exactly what I said, but the, I'm, I'm giving you a more full answer. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. A 24-hour later thought. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, li- I listened hey, to the not, stuff. All right. And uh, I don't know. I don't think there's much there. Right. I mean, if you want to see him sing. No, I don't want to see it. I know John Lieberman covered it, uh, but... It looks like Howard Could TV we at least see the blonde wig? We saw it. He just flashed oh. it up. There it is. Oh. There's the blonde wig. There we go. There they are singing. Funny and Cher. It looks like Vince Neil after a car wreck. <laughs> Benji still looks fat to me. Yeah, I gained some weight. Yeah, you, you yeah. Put, definitely put a few pounds back on. Right. Now is a day talking about things we hate in life. This one is a Nothing gets in the way. I love hearing your voice. And what you have to say. Captivating. I don't know what I'll do when I get in front of you. My online sweetheart, baby. I don't know what I'll do when I get in front of you. That's horrible. My online sweetheart, baby. <laughs> it's like I'm watching two different shows. I think Benji's getting that hand wave going. How many people are in the audience, Benji? Uh, he's got one guy following. Two. Hey, it's a full crowd. Yeah, big crowd. How many people were there? I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know how much that club holds. Right. Were there 100 people I, there? I'd say at least, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Hundred, All right, very good. Thank you, guys. Well, there's Benji <laughs> in the continuing saga of his effort to get a, you know, something going with his girlfriend. You know. Is it true you played uh, the Jewish instrument, the ram's horn, the shofar? Yeah. I you did the during shofar. the show? Uh, during one, uh, during uh, Far Away, yeah. Beautiful. Or fade Away. Fade yeah. Away yeah. During Fade Away. Yeah. Yeah. There he is blowing the, the big there shofar he is. part. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Do you like having that much hair? I mean, that's really going for hair. He wants to have hair. And, and he met some lady who does a hair weave. And she weaves his head, you know. Right. Where's the hair now? You took it off? or? Is uh, it, yeah, I returned. I, I, you returned the hair? Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, if I was judging the hair alone, <laughs> I would t- I would give that a big, I'd hit that button. I would love to see see the tape from yesterday. Because I, I don't know if you guys have it when we were talking, because that's exactly what, I, I found it to be very passive aggressive and very like, well, I was thinking about washing it off and I thought to myself, why should I? Our... Are Benji's hands that distracting, though? I mean, I kind of get where Benji's coming from in, in that sense. He knew that if he kept it on, it was good. someone was going to notice it was going to be distracting. He had that thought in his head. And then he thought to himself, like, well, I'm not washing it off because why should I? 
So in other words, he goes, I know it's going to be distracting to you, but I want to do what I want to do. Right, he conceded that, so he knew that he was being distracted. Yeah, he knew he knew it was a possible distraction. Then he thought to himself, well, so why should I wash it off? Now, we've seen so many Benji stick comas over the years. This one appears to be the one that annoys Howard and, and frankly, everyone else the most. Why is that? Because it's the one that's been going on the longest. He's really sticking with it. And it's not really that funny. Well, and the other thing is, I don't. it's not... I can't figure out what... What the payoff is? He's not making money off it. I mean, I don't know if it, if if it really. I can't even figure out if it's, he's doing it just so he can sleep with her. I don't know if they're sleeping together. If they're sleeping together, I don't know if it's worth it. And I don't know wh- why. It's a constant barrage. He's really become Jackie now. He's just he just he's become Jackie. He's just crowbarring plugs in wherever he can, what? to the point where it doesn't it, it, it doesn't make anything special anymore. What's your prediction for how long this will continue for? I, I you know what? It's already gone on a month longer than I thought it would. So my prediction, I don't have one. Benj, Gary seems genuinely upset with your reaction. That, that yesterday you seemed not to care that your writing was a, was a uh, distraction on the show. Um, yes. But, I mean, what's the question? No, I'm saying he seemed genuinely upset, and you still maintain the same position, that you're well, not going to, uh, to change the well, way this, you act for the show. Well, everything I do people assume is like to uh, seek attention so I've, I've been pigeonholed into that um, so no matter my behavior people say it's, it's to seek attention um, I did write the lyrics on my hand there's still remnants of it um, for the purpose of like oh during the day when I'm I can like work on memorizing the lyrics and I'll have it on my hand I'll be ready for the show um, I realized before I got to work yesterday, like, they're going to give me shit about this. They're going to be like, oh, he's just doing that for attention. I had an impulse, like, I should go ahead and wash it. But but then I was like, fuck, the, you know, I I know why I have this on here. I have it on here to see it. It's not, it's, it's, uh, if people ask me about it, I would say, yeah, I'm, I'm working on the lyrics. It's not that big of a deal, I didn't think. Um, and so I didn't get rid of it even though I knew I'd be accused of that was the purpose of, of it. And so, that's the core of what aggravated Gary, is that you had that thought, yet you still... Yeah, because I don't think it was that, like, it's... Not that I'm always told, like, I'm, you know, lots of times I'm not myself because it's, like, everything they're going to say. No, I wasn't, like... I, I didn't think that, I didn't think that, like, having this on my hand is a distracting kind of thing. It's, it's, it's mostly washed off now. But I didn't think it's a distracting thing. I, would, would people probably know if you have something written in your hand? Yeah, but they could ask you, like, why do you have it? And it's, like, not that big of a deal. Um, what was your... But it just seems like in this current phase of your life, <laughs> in, in your, into your foray as a uh, singer-songwriter, your entire relationship with Elisa Jordana, you maintain that this is a legit thing, but it, it almost comes across right now as the boy who cried wolf because for so many years... You've created all these characters, or you've gone through all these phases. I really haven't. What are the characters I've created? I, I, I wish I would do characters. I should just fucking do characters. I'll, I would do so much, so much more total, like, real different personas and everything. Well, let's say image changes. Like, you've gone through some... I some, really don't think I've gone through, like, major... Well, you had your, now, your overall phase, your dashiki phase. That, that, that was a joke. I did wear the African... Oh. The, well, the dashiki's a hat. That was the African hat. I might have worn that once as a hat. As a right, joke. the, the, the muumuu-looking thing you wore. That was for a religious holiday. Kalahari Kai Kai. Right, but you're Jewish. It, but I, there's also, I have... Uh, you're not going to... Okay. Look, look up about the Bubba clan in uh, South Africa. You know, when you've gone into character as, as Detla, you know, uh, we've seen you throughout the years... Let's say let's let's just say let's come to an agreement. We've seen you I, I alter joke, your. I appearance. joke around sometimes. Right. No, I don't do like big character type things. But are you um, finding it hard for people to take you seriously now that you are completely one hundred percent serious about your your song singer songwriter career? No, it's not. It's not a persona. It's like it's not my main thing in life. Is is the song? But it's it's a fun thing. It's a fun project I've done, and I feel good about it. And I feel it was a it was a fun creative, artistic thing. That, I, that I'm part of is being part of a song and helping create the song. Um, 
you know, 90% of the creation of the song is Elisa, but I did help help create it and help form it, and I helped uh, sing it. And that's a fun thing and something I'm proud of and something I enjoy learning and uh, trying to do. Met a girl on J-Day looking for another playmate But this may be my shirt, my fate She's making me wait and it hurts I'm not your type but I know that we're right Spend hours a day Talking about things we hate and we like We're always on time Nothing gets in the way I love hearing your voice And what you have to say I don't know what I'll do When I get in front of you My online sweetheart, baby I don't know what I'll do When I get in front of you My online sweetheart, baby Wear your hat with my name, paint your face for me, babe. Sing a song that I write, cause you know what I like. I'll do anything, I'll do anything. I'll grow a beard for you, baby, cause you like the way it feels. Wear a hat with your name, paint my face for you, babe. Sing a song that you write, cause I know what you like. I'll do anything, I'll do anything. Are you gonna take off your JJ profile finally? Are you I... gonna be logged on for the rest of your life? I can't, baby, I got a 20 year membership. Take it off right now. starting to like me, Elisa Jordana. It's because I made you look hot, Benji B. I saw Benji made an appearance with his girlfriend. They did a music, uh, you know, show. And how did that go? Well, I mean, it, it was weird, but at least it was a show. I don't have a problem with that for some reason. I mean, right. even, they were singing and trying. I mean, it's weird. The, the girlfriend has some talent. Amazing. And Benji gets up there. What is he saying? And, amazing? Yeah, well, okay, I mean, he's in I love. I think she is. Yeah. She has some sort of talent, and she's pretty to look at, but Benji gets up there and then is like the goofball. He's the comic relief. Yeah, but I think he, he's, you know, like, like he, he had a hula hoop on stage at one point, and he's hula hooping. They asked me who's the best of them. I said it's him. But I, I'm not sure what it had to do with anything. So it's a bad show. Well, she has a song. Yeah, it's Benji bad. The Hula Hooper. Yeah, and then there's a then there was another song where Benji starts yelling out the people's names in the audience. 
Oh, God. And uh, wh- wh- let me see if I can find it. Uh, Robin, why would that disgust you? You'll see. It's disgusting. But at least it's a show. At least there is some sort of thought going into it. Here's the song where Benji just grabs the microphone, and his role is to... He's got the name of everybody in the in the place, which is like 20 people, and he shouts out the 20 people's names. Jared knows what love is. Mark knows what love is. Sam knows what love is. Ian I mean, knows what love is. Doug knows what love is. Love he is. What love is. Where's Pro Tools when you need it? Yeah. Is. Lauren knows what love is. I mean, it's just she bad and like. The girlfriend's back there trying to get something going. Can she hear him? She's trying to drown him out. Oh, and he goes on and on too long because he, he thinks he's Andy Kaufman and he's just going to... It'll get funny the more he does it. No, it was a fun live show. And yeah, but, you, but dude, there, it's boring. Well, maybe this is, it was projected to a live audience. I, but I, this, I get it, but I mean, love is... This, Fred knows what love is. Robin knows what love is. Then they broke, broke into song. It's just annoying. It's not fun. No, it's not. You're just and it's to, not funny, for sure. It was fun for the audience. Yeah. I, I didn't detect hey, fun. Maybe we don't know audiences, Howard. And then Benji's singing with the girlfriend up on stage. And like when Benji gets into the act, it's horrible. <laughs> then suddenly it goes wrong. Yeah. I keep on missing you. It's like somebody learning how to sing. You know, like she's, <laughs> it's almost like she's giving him a singing lesson. Right. And you're not really confident that Benji knows the song. That's true. I keep on missing you. I cannot fight it. He's like the slow child in a school play. Their whole love affair is being acted out on stage. Right. These are autobiographical songs. I'll grow a beard for you, baby. You know, anything that happened gets into a song. It's like a musical. This will be in the next song. Yeah. Well, she's attractive and fun to look at and, you know, certainly to listen to. And you're just awful. But go ahead. If you keep playing that second clip, like, Benji just stops singing and just starts screaming. (laughs) Ace for you, baby. Sing a song that you write. I'll do anything, I'll do anything. Oh, he's like a, that guy in Nirvana. Right, right. <laughs> he's like Kurt Cobain. It's a weird act, but at least they put on a show. I'll, I'll give them that. Well, they're like Sonny and Cher. I used mm-hmm. to think that of them, too. That Why is she hanging around with him for? And, and she thought it, too, and she left. Which is what I'm expecting Benji's girlfriend to do. I see a tree. Yeah. But uh, it, the whole thing is so odd. And, but, but Lisa's event was the oddest. Did Lisa have a presentation? Did she no. have some opening remarks? No, like, like she grabs the microphone and goes, hi, everybody. You know, thanks for coming. And, and then walks around and acts interested in everybody. Mm. Hi, who are hi, you? Lisa, I'm Yetatella Benda. Nice to meet you. I'll give you the Howie Mandel handshake. Oh, really? You don't handshake? I have severe OCD. As a matter of fact, I'm OCD patient zero. It's those are magnolia cupcakes. Okay. And then I baked everything yeah. else. So these are lemon squares. When do you find time for that? It's kind of like you're on the phone. You're like. It was just kooky. It was just like, well, I, I understand you can get on our radio channels and offer people and drum that. up. A few yeah. people, yeah. But maybe, you know, it's sort of like why I, I get disgusted with some of those people who show up at Comic-Con and charge people for their autograph. I mean, Lisa could do that, I guess, you know, charge 20 people for her autograph, but why do it? Your integrity is worth it. I thought the event was a little peculiar, but Lisa sees it differently than me. Uh, she says differently? Has anybody yeah. heard what she thought of it? I haven't heard. Well, maybe we'll get her in here. Here's some woman who was upset with the party. Lisa's party. Lisa's party. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have all the tape of people upset with Benji. <laughs> well, by the way, my event was free also. Oh, that's true. What about the ticket price? Do you feel $100 is a fair price? 
I got ripped off. <laughs> Great. I think it was ridiculous. Yeah. But then again, as a female, I am trying to support what she's what she's trying to do. Like, I don't think I'd feel comfortable going to the guy shows. Um, I feel that this was something that I was comfortable with. The price is ridiculous. <laughs> I really feel yeah, that Lisa kidding. could have done better and yeah. we could have gotten some air conditioning. Air conditioning at the least. <laughs> Well, the fact that it was uh, for charity, then I'm okay with it. But but it wasn't initially no. promoted as a charitable event. Yeah. They asked me who's the best of them. I said it's him. I said it's Benjamin. I just want to listen. Benjamin. He loves popsicles so much that he's Mr. Popsicle now. It's hard to remember sometimes, but um. Kevin's gonna be the one to bang. Jared knows what love is. Mark knows what love is. Sam knows what love is. Ian knows what love is. Doug knows what love is. Pete knows what love is.
Ba-ba-ba-ba-booey Ba-ba-ba-booey 